Being 7 o'clock, I'll open the meeting. We have an invoice for a um, bill for 6000 um, for the, looks like for the, for a 222 and some 3 8. I have a motion to accept the total. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So we have on the agenda the continued four score holding um, special permit application. The, we have a, um, an email asking to continue. Um, in reality, they're continuing because the one the big thing that we're waiting for is the order consulting, and we just um, tracked the order consulting. Um, so, um, hi, Bill. Pursuant to our discussion just now, please accept this email as for was supposed to request to continue with the planning board hearing to April 3rd, 2019. So. Make a motion to extend it to postpone it to the 5th, April 3rd. April 3rd. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, that one too? Uh, guys, you just did this to us the last time. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. 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 Go ahead. Well, you, guys, you did this to us the last time. You know we're here. This is for four score. Are you for the, for the solo project? No, 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 no for no, four no. score. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> That's right. That's either way. Oh, did we? I'm sorry. Yes, did, I know. Did we? Do we have anybody who wants to speak for open forum? I totally missed that. Just for solo project. Yes. No, this is an open forum session where someone can come up with something not on the agenda that they wish to address to the planning board. That's what open forum is all about. So is there anyone in the audience who wishes to come up and discuss something under open forum? The solar project is on the agenda. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The, uh, the subdivision plan for Masonic Woods is on the agenda. Is the solar? But that's so also? Right. But then it's, it's a subdivision. It's, it's a subdivision. subdivision to, to finish their free use for the, for the It's a subdivision plan. It's not a site plan. Correct. 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 So we have a few minutes. Do we have anything else? Oh, we have ten minutes. Um, yeah, I just want to, through the chair, if I could, I just had one so quick question. We have new, um, we'll just kind of look at new business okay. That, okay. We, that you just found like a few minutes before you walked in, so correct. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the proposal for the peer review? Yeah, it's on the agenda. Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. So I, I got it in yesterday, sent it out to you last mm -hmm. night. Uh, it's included in your packet here as well. Uh, it's number 10, I think, in your packet. So the proposal is, uh, you know, to do uh, basically a desktop peer review of the odor mitigation plan submitted by Forescore. This is submitted by uh, Christine Davies from Kennedy Consultants. And it's, uh, I, I think it's a pretty thorough you know, review of their proposed uh, mitigation controls. The only question I had is whether you would want to ask a consultant to come to a planning board meeting, which is not included in the scope of work. It's primarily to be a written narrative with all the analysis, um, but no actual presentation to the board. So I don't know how you feel about that, whether you would want to have the consultant here and then people in the audience could ask questions or there could be some back and forth with the applicant as well. Does the board feel comfortable not having the engineer here or is there, how would would it be acceptable for open meeting law if we read the proposal and then email the consultant any questions that we had? Um, what is? Well, I mean, I think you would uh, accept or you would be left <coughs> with the nar narrative and not the ability to an ask questions and have answers at the meeting. So, yeah, in case I we think had the public applicant public would prefer yeah. to get it all out of the table at once so that yeah, it made no objections. Not to going back and forth. It makes sense to expedite this. Exactly. The applicant would pay anyway. Yes. So if I mean if, if I mean if it's gonna it's 
probably going to be in their benefit and it's going to be in our benefit. It's going to be in the resident's yeah. benefit. Yep. So it makes yep. sense to yep. um, Now they're located in Massachusetts, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. South Door. So I can get back to Christine then and ask her to add in a one meeting before the planning board? Yep. Okay. Please. And see if they would revise the cost or not. But then pass that on to um, four school payment. They have conference calls, up to two one-hour conference calls mm -hmm. for budgeted. Um, I wonder if that's yeah. If we could do that in place. Yeah, just like what she's saying. Just replace one. Well, yeah. take, take, does the could the conference call be exchanged for a uh, for a meeting. in person person meeting. person meeting? Okay, for on oh, no, evening. We don't want to cause any any more just random expenses. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If we don't, yeah, we don't exactly. I know for. Um, for the uh, VGG peer review, our consultant was on the phone with their consultants a lot. Right, that's right. what I was thinking. Um, but I'm not sure this one will really yeah. require as we'll much We'll see what she says. Yeah, okay. Let's just say, I mean, if, it, if it's a few, I mean, depending how much, if it's, a, you know, $500, I mean, I'm saying if it's not right. that's Contract, or do we have to wait till uh, 7 15? It's not in a public meeting, so I can't. Yeah, it's the yeah. Um, there's a bunch of material in the package. You can look at number 11 and do that. All right, okay. Um, do you remember for the Carpenter Road solo, we wanted the engineer to contact one of the, the closest about it to the energy storage containers. And this memo from David Albrecht of Borrego Solar said that he's tried to reach out to that neighbor. Hasn't had um, success in terms of um, actually speaking with that person. So I think he's asking you know, for direction, should he continue to try or should we assume that lack of response by the neighbor indicates that they have no problem and therefore we can assume that um, everything is okay. Did they include a copy of the letter so we know exactly how it was worded? So we know what kind of information it is, so it didn't look like a scam? I don't remember. Okay. Okay. I didn't think, yeah. I didn't remember either. Has this office tried to reach out to them? Thank no. You. No? Should we? Do we know the applicant's name? Do we? Mm -hmm. uh, the neighbor's no, name? No, I don't. I, I assume we could figure it out if we look at the plan. <coughs> right. Do we know the address? Yes. Down on 169, isn't right, it? That's yeah. the one. Okay. <coughs> I thought we had the name. Do you still want to have I'd like to get a, 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 a yay or an a, okay. something like that. Just some, okay. some sort of. And so if you want, I'll, I'll try to reach out to that person and then see if I can. If you don't have your luck, then we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. And do you mind asking if we can get a copy of the letter just so for our files okay. we have proof that this letter was sent in? Okay. And where it was sent? Exactly. I know we typically send a certified letter for butters. Do you think we should do the same if we can't reach them by telephone? Send a certified letter so at least we know the set in it and if we can put in the letter. Okay. If within 10 days we don't hear back, we assume that um, you're saying it's okay. I think that'll be similar to doing. Well, like that, mm. exactly. And not realizing, right, right, it might be a winter bird, and not realizing that this is a, a timely matter. Seven ten. Um, we will. We have a continued public hearing for ZPT Energy Solutions, um, the uh, Masonic Woods Way Definitive Subdivision Plan off of Brown Road. Right. Okay. Come on. I have a sign in sheet. Do you need material for that public hearing? Thank <laughs> you. 
So, um, Brian Wentworth from BSC Group. Uh, we're the engineering surveyor um, that submitted on behalf of BCC Energy Solutions. Uh, Mr. Jonas Pollock is here uh, from BCC Energy as well. Um, you know, the, the, what we're here to discuss tonight is the definitive subdivision plan. Um, which is uh, basically to agree to the requirements uh, ahead of the, the proposed solar, solar array on the property. Um, the, I just have the plans on the table there, but um, the definitive subdivision plan consists of a 500 foot uh, cul de sac. Um, and we have a road, proposed gravel road, uh, 18 feet wide. Um, you know, just wanted to know, you know, this is, and we've discussed with Bill and with Mike, just to freeze the zoning requirement. So uh, the gravel road <coughs> proposed in the center sub subdivision plan uh, would not go forward until under. Can we say anything? Just the, the, or, or the, the, the road is not proposed uh, unless the um, solar array project goes to the Okay. To, to freeze them. Okay. Um, and we submitted ahead of time. Uh, Mr. Andre reviewed uh, through Graves Engineering uh, a couple of times, resubmitted, and uh, I saw the comments that. Graves had the division divides one of the existing lots uh, <coughs> owned by uh, Masonic Home, uh, also referred to as the Overlook. Um, uh, you know, a wooded lot, uh, lot 8, uh, would divide it into two lots, lot 8A and 8B. It's under a special permit? I believe so. Is it a special permit? No. It's, it's not. An allowed, allowed, allowed by right use. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because when we, I believe when we first did this, we got solar was allowed everywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. Plan review in all districts. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <coughs> Reading this correctly, there's really only one abutter to this project. But I don't see anything. On this side? Yeah, there's nothing in there. Is it, is it currently wooded now, or is it? Yes. It's currently wooded. We've done a few reviews on this project now. And a lot of the comments were getting right away to comply with the requirements. Um, some discussion on what the road would consist of and how it's constructed. Um, obviously, this subdivision as proposed couldn't, couldn't be uh, couldn't be accepted as a public way without more improvements. Mm -hmm. 
So I mean, the board is, I believe the board has seen other projects very similar to this in the past. So mm -hmm. we try to follow that same mold and be consistent with um, what it should include, managing the drainage in some fashion, which they've added. Uh, obviously, if this develops further into a into a solar project, they'll have to address that. Um, but at this point, with the third review, they worked and addressed all my technical comments. Are you taking questions at this time? No, yeah, no, just give us a We'll open it up in a minute. Bill, on the purpose of the plant, on the other solar um, phrases that we've had, I could be remembering wrong. Doesn't it usually say that they're freezing for the purpose of solar? Mm -hmm. No, this one doesn't. Say that. So the Did purpose. Of I thought that was here somewhere. Um, I thought so we have the purpose is, is, is to subdivide lot shown on sheet. Um, it doesn't say it is freezing, but it doesn't say freezing for solar. And I and it, it I'm not sure it's in the plans. I know it was it was included in the the waiver request that was submitted. So it doesn't have to freeze for any one particular. But normally it does say it, and it's always. Yeah, but well, if it's in the waiver requ waiver request, well, it's it's what you said anyway. So it's like an addendum to the plan, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Right. They're creating the two lots out of the whole. But I thought I said 220 acres. So it's already broken up into what? What eight? <coughs> you look at the, the sheet before the. This one? Yep. So the, the oh. lot. Um, this is the, the um, Sonic Home, the overlook is kind of up here. Okay. Um, this is all their property. Uh, this was previously divided uh, through an a r submittal. Uh, I think it was endorsed by the planning board May of last year. Yep. So Over that one. The subdivision, uh, or the, uh, the cul-de-sac is here, the new lot line dividing lot 8 uh, into 8A and 8B. Mm -hmm. And this is going to encompass both flats. I mean, it's going to be over both flats, A and B. The, the solar. Um, well, I, I believe it's you just proposed for B, B, but um, have they submitted the site plan yet? No, no. no. Okay. So we're just here for the. For the calculations of the upland express. Um, I haven't, haven't checked it. But there was some question about the Masonic Home Board uh, approving the subdivision plan. Have you got uh, clarity on that question? Yeah, so we have confirmation that the, the, the Overlook Board has uh, approved <coughs> everything and they we're, they're all, all ready to go. Okay. Do we want to get that in writing from them, or you said? Mm -hmm. no, yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> sure. Okay. 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 Any other questions? It seems like it's, it's pretty simple. It's mm -hmm. not. I don't. But you want to explain the procedure for the people in the in the room? So exactly what this is and so what it entails. This is stuff. The definitive subdivision that's required. So they, they submitted their preliminary, which froze the land. Um, to, because before the solar moratorium came place, they froze it so they could kind of um, build as, as <coughs> we were zoned for previously. You know, we had the moratorium, and then we'll have a bunch of changes coming up at town meeting for solar. Okay. So that's the only, the, like the whole entire reason that this <coughs> plan is done is just for that phrase. Um, they, I guess technically, they could go ahead and do this, but we've done 26 of these. This is number 26, I believe. And but at this point, they can't do anything other than this. Right. Okay, I have a problem with that. Can I do it? Sure. Say your name. Uh, my name is Ray Fitzgerald. Sure. I live at 42 Burlingame Road. Okay, Do you want to show, show us what that is on? Can I see the, the map? Yeah, the map. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this is Berlin Gamer through here, and this is Masonic Home. So I need to see exactly where the access room is. So <laughs> don't show where the access is. Put one over. Okay, this is the access room. Mm -hmm. My house sits right here. They're 80 feet off my property line. And oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's on right the other there. side okay. of the street? No, it's, no, it's on free. the opposite side. Oh, this is that. my wall. This is my house where they marked it. So this is the road. This is your house here. Correct. Okay. Oh, okay. Where they marked it, they're only 80 feet off my wall. Okay, second of all is I have an autistic granddaughter. Who's at my house? Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Now she's afraid of loud noises. I can have my uh, sister-in-law bring all the paperwork about my granddaughter, but it had all her uh, social security number on it. That's why they bring it this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm the one that's going to be mostly affected by this because I'm going to have to listen to the construction equipment, mm -hmm. the uh, land of the fellow buncher. I drive little bids. I worked on solar projects before. Yeah, I, I, I work out of a company out of Connecticut. So I called the EPA, and there's, uh, the town has not filed for an EPA study or a DOT study for Burlingame Road. So Burlingame Road, I know for a fact, is not going to handle equipment that weighs 98,000 pounds coming in on a 75 foot tractor trailer. Burlingame Road, at its widest point, where you guys plan the access road is only 25 feet from curb to curb and you're only putting a 20 foot road wide in the uh, access road so how are you going to turn the truck that's 75 feet long on a 25 foot road going to a 20 foot road you can't do it and on the opposite side of that road there's a two foot drop off and that's all wetlands so when you're pulling that much weight going out when you try to make a left hand pivot that weight pushes the tractor forward. Mm -hmm. So if that guy drops a set of steers off the road and he punctures a fuel tank mm -hmm. or an oil pan, mm -hmm. oil pan holds, I believe, 12 gallons of oil. The average fuel tank is 275 gallons. So if he punctures a tank, all that oil and diesel fuel is going into the wetlands and into the stream. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way that they can get in because the opposite side of Burlingame Road where it comes in off the hill, the low bit only six, six inches off the ground. You'll never get a truck through there. <coughs> and then that road's coming to pipe as it is. Putting that much weight on that road is definitely going to destroy it. That, that road is not going to handle that weight of all those trucks going up and down that road. And what about the school? It's going to be disrupting the school. My major concern is my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do with my granddaughter? She's afraid of noises. I can't, you know, it's... I talk loud in the house. She cries, Papa, Papa, my ears, no, don't yell. Now I'm gonna have to listen to trucks coming down the hill with a jake brake on. Mm -hmm. Trucks slamming their tailgates. Excavators slamming their buckets into the ground to, to pull up a piece of the ledge. My granddaughter's not gonna be able to take that. And I can't afford to... Where is she the rest of the time? At my son's house in uh, Dudley. We can't, it's, to get her her proper care is $1,000 a week. I can't afford that. My son can't afford that. So I pay him $500 for the three days. And the other three days she comes to my house with the speech therapist, the behavioral uh, therapist. I mean, I can provide all the documents, but I, the documents that I had had a social security number on it. So oh, I didn't want to pass that up. <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> but that's my, what am I going to do with my granddaughter? I don't know what we can do about that. I mean, I it's, you know, know what. she's afraid, it's, yeah. she's afraid, it's listed on her thing as a hearing, afraid of loud noises. And that's going to be loud. Especially with the Jake Bakes. I know, I drive a truck. Mm -hmm. I've been driving for 30 years. And that's the only access they can get down. So my suggestion is that you have the town engineer do an impact study on the road, see what the weight limit of the road can handle. Because I know it's not going to handle 35 ton. And just let's say, how are you going to get 
a 75 foot truck down mm. a road that's only 25 feet wide. With all the cars come across, you'll have to close the road. There's no traffic to get down. Did Jerry chime in on the, in, in this? The no. no. You know, so that, that'd be my question is, you know, one do an environmental impact study on it. Because I know the solar farm down on Richardson's <coughs> Corner Road three mm -hmm. years ago that was killing the migrating birds that were coming back from wherever they migrated from. And that was on New Center 5, New Center 7, mm -hmm. from the heat glare coming on. I mean, there has to be another access way to put the, you know, have their trucks come in mm -hmm. instead of coming down Burlingham Road. Because you got the drainage ditch that you just guys did. Mm -hmm. It took us four months for you guys to come dig it all out because mm -hmm. the roads keep getting flooded. It was going off and across the other <clears> side. <throat> so my question is, if you're going to put that road over the drainage ditch, you're going to have to widen the drainage ditch, put a, a pipe probably 10, 12 inches round down, and probably 40, 50 feet long, to connect it to the drainage ditch. Who's responsible for that? My only concern was even if you move the access road, the noise of the construction is still going to be heard through the right. trees. So unfortunately, as a planning board, our limitate what we can and cannot allow is extremely limited. Um, and I know Carpenter Hill is similar to Burlingame, um, and they handled the equipment. Um, we can have Jerry chime in, but I'm, and we feel for you. We honestly, truly do. Just know that what we are allowed to limit is extremely I, limited. I understand that, but what am I supposed to do with my my granddaughter? I can't afford a thousand dollars. You guys ain't gonna pay me the money. The nursing home is not going to pay me the money or the solar company. So it's a big interest in my life. Even, let's just say that we, we said, okay, fine, we'll deny the entire project based on that. They'll go to land court and win anyway. So just know well, I'll, that... Well, I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll take it to court, too. Because it's all about zoning. It's all about regulation. Right. Well, itself. my question is, how did it get from residential to agricultural? So this that was never... Yeah. It's actually part of the village... So this whole section here is <coughs> the village district, which by right yes. allows so certain right. things, by right it doesn't allow other okay. things, All right, so but that is not prohibited in this system. That's correct. In right. the system. So uh, is, is your road here? I'm a 42. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, yeah. so this was changed. So, so this is Burlingame yep. Road, right? Yep. So the access road's right here, my house is right here. Right. This is my wall. So you're in the village district also. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so my, and then the other question is, when they clear cut all that land, where's the water going to go? And that's what we studied with the drainage. <coughs> right. <coughs> that, 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 so that drainage is not going to handle all that water. The drainage will be much more detailed with the so, actual yeah. site So there's, there's two steps that they need to right. go through. They, the, the site plan, uh, 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 sorry, the, the subdivision plan, Basically, what they're saying is we're dividing this one lot into two lots, right? And we're putting an access road here. That's, right. That's all that says. Right. And then when when if, if this gets approved, then they need to come back with a site plan, right? That shows exactly what they're going to build there, how they're going to build it, <coughs> what the drainage is going to yeah. be, and it's it's a lot more detailed right. so than just what's needed for right. a subdivision plan. So, so, like, so, like I suggest, I think you should have the town engineer do a uh, a study on the road. When prior when prior to the site, site plan, plan that's, when, that's, that's we, when the site plan is in front of us, we'll get the comments from all the boards in the building. Right. Um, they'll all chime in and give us their. Yeah. And we can and we can also ask Jerry specifically to take a look that's at the road and, and yeah. not just ju not just say it looks good to me. Actually, go out and mm -hmm. and take a look yeah. and to make sure that it's going to be safe. So while mm -hmm. this plan is mm -hmm. saying we're, we're taking one lot, we're making two lots. Right. Period. Yeah. That's, so that's, that's as you know, goes, right. that's, that's all we can really rule on and, tonight. And during the site plan review also we could possibly work with the applicants to try to um, I don't know how much we how much power we actually can have to for the hours of building but <coughs> maybe they'll be able to work with you a little bit to have you right. know, well, my days. question is it, it, it's the noise that's going to bother her mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. when you take an excavator you start slamming into the ground trying to break up ledge that makes a lot of noise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially with the trucks coming down with the Jake break on. I, I can't move my daughter. I don't have the money to put her what it costs for her to go to DP full time. That's a, over a thousand dollars. She needs, like you said, I got two therapists for her speech. I have a therapist for her behavior. I have a therapist for her legs because she wears braces on her legs. 
So I, I have all I, those at my house. I mean, I absolutely, I... Is there a I way understand. that they can move the road further down or further up the hill? Uh, this said, just because you see the subdivision um, that road, road there. there, there's no guarantee that that's... This that is, road may never this get is just built. Free right. zone. This whole, that this that whole road shouldn't get built because, like I said, it's the It probably is, won't. We can't is, guarantee right. that it won't. Well, and we have to look at it as know, if it is have, being you built. You have to look at my... I just moved from the city to here to avoid that same thing that happened to me right. in the city. Um, when I bought the house, they really said that land was never going to be built. <laughs> and no, right, yeah. right. right. Now all there's sudden, also a bridge that you right. can buy. But yeah. <laughs> one thing you know is that solar farms are actually pretty quiet, so yeah, it could be a lot worse things I've worked on solar farms. You know I know how they operate. So you don't get the you don't get the barking dogs. You know. No, but I get. I'm going to have the, the construction equipment, the fellow bunches. The wood chipper. Right, but that's yeah, for a limited months. period well, of time. Be that's, that's, right. that's not going to that, be ongoing for that years. Location. But that's going to go from the access Monday morning through farm, Friday. Or will it be coming in Absolutely. Right, so what am I going to do? My daughter, my granddaughter on a Monday, on a Wednesday, and Saturday. The, is um, there a way to get into the site? They most likely won't be going on Saturdays, <coughs> will they? No, they're not going on Saturdays. So it's only two days. So Monday and Wednesday, what am I going to do? My granddaughter. This would get you protected. Um, so, you have it Monday, Wednesday, Saturday? Yes. Saturday, well, don't worry about it. They don't all right. work on Saturday. I guess when the time comes, I have to consider a work day during, Tuesday, Thursday, during Friday. During the site plan, it, it, is, it is likely that the applicants don't want to make enemies with their neighbors. I so, understand so that, but maybe I've, they could I've start seen what a fellow bunch of does. Okay, look, she's I've, talking. I know. So, please. I mean, we can't. We are. We have. There's some restraints that we have on us. We can't. We can do, we can do certain things, but we could work with the applicant and ask them <coughs> to try to modify their hours a little bit just to make um, your life not miserable. Um, so at this point, so again, the, ho the whole reason we're doing this is just because they're freezing the zoning so they can put in a solar farm. Um, when the site plan comes in, there's a lot more to look at. The screening and the traffic and everything, anything uh, the, the construction plan and everything, it's all part of that process. So that's when there'll be much more participation. You'll have, there'll be a lot more details. So this is what you see is what you get. Right. Again, um, I don't think I've ever seen a subdivision actually, no. not one of these freezing ones. I mean, no. the whole reason why they're doing this was just to freeze the land to be able to put the solar farm in. Yeah, I know that. And I, and I thought the town child met its solar requirements. We do <coughs> know. No. So at the town meeting on May 20th, is when the solar committee they're recommending but they're but they're grandfathered but they're, they're grandfathered, grandfathered in, in. Okay. so there's nothing we can yeah, do they're they, grandfathered that, that's in. why this freeze is here all right so you're the engineer correct that uh, who's the company that did the uh uh inspecting on it? the uh markers the uh, site work right Survey. the applicant Survey. Survey. the applicant did it no no no, no. 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 my question is why do, if they can't just limit the, that road period it may it. never get yeah, built. Right. This is what we're saying. Okay. We have to wait and see. They built this subdivision, this to comply with our <coughs> regulations, to just for the freeze. Again. But I thought it, it, I thought it had to be 180 feet off property line, not 80. Feet. We'll get into that when we have the site plan. Well, All I, think, the I think that's a good question, though, Mike. Can you answer that question? What's the question? The subdivision <laughs> road does not have to be 180 feet from the property line. All right, then that's another problem is in my well. My well is right next to there. So if you guys stop digging and blasting, you close my well up. Who's responsible for So the these well? are all issues that get looked at um, when the site plan is submitted, which it hasn't been yet. All right, so when I come back, who do I bring the documentation for my granddaughter for autism? I don't think that's, that's I mean, part of us. We, we don't, I'm we don't, sorry to say that, but... We don't that, need proof we believe you. We don't, right. we don't need the documents in front of us. We are, there's right. no reason for us not to. I think it is but, a but yeah, like I said, I called the EPA and the EPA didn't even that was the town meeting for us uh, EPA study. Because they're not that point, not at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the the board of health will also every board gets a copy of the plans when mm -hmm. they come in. So Do you have a number of them or just um, I contact them online? Just you can do just, anyway, if, just if you yeah. just go to our twenty two hundred um, yeah. ask for board of health. Or we'll talk to Jim Fulber. Nice enough guy. And he'll be able to, you know, yes. provide. Maybe there's, maybe they have more yeah. control of that kind of stuff because we don't. We're we're strictly zoning. Yeah. And maybe um, he doesn't have control. All right. So but if anybody what did, what exactly. you can do is you can call the board of health and actually be put on the agenda to talk about the subdivision plan, and then you can go 
and, 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 talk about and then we the, take the, the we take plan. them into consideration at the site plan again. But yeah. the site plan, every detail. Yeah. We're talking about what trees they take down, and you yeah. know what drainage you know and drainage and um, uh, barrier access lines roads and, and all that kind of stuff. So right. that that's what you want to be at. So I tell about the town engineer too. I thought that what the hell about that. Uh, for so the, the width of the road? Uh, that would be the highway. Highway. That's highway department. Highway that superintendent. And, and again, if I you go to our website, every phone number is, you can call Yeah, I called it, but the last time yeah. I don't get any answers, so they don't even call me Just go, go down there. It's best to just stop yeah. down during the day if you have time. Yeah, it's, it's tough for me. I'm on the road at 5.30 Yeah, correct. Morning. That's why I, I, I don't get home until 8 o'clock. Yeah, so that's tough. But like I said, you know, you should do it if you're playing, like, just... I recommend then that you guys do a weight study on the road okay. because that road is That will happen later. When the site yeah. plan yeah. is yeah. submitted, they'll so get, the, the, as applicants, okay. they'll get notice too. Of, like, yeah, because I didn't even get a notice about the, the solar farm. I never got a letter. You didn't get a notice for the nope. subdivision farm? Nope. You didn't get nothing. So I can check the letters list. <coughs> what if you grow on the main road? Read it to I found out from my neighbor. <clears throat> now, do you own a rent? I rent it. Okay, okay so, that's so right. it probably the went owner to the owner. Okay. Peter, okay. Peter Bork? Yep. Yeah, it probably went to Peter Bork. All right. Yeah. No so problem. He's, the one, he's the one that would have gotten that information. Okay. okay. I appreciate it. Thank, right. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Um, what are, what's the point? Name and address, please. Okay, did, I know our, did that pick it up? And I, if you wouldn't say that one more time, I'm sorry. I'm representing Maureen in Euclid, Kepler, 32 T-Mall oh. Road. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering, at what point does EPA and environmental assessments come If required during the site plan process. If, so when, when the site plan um, gets submitted, based on the lot size or any, any conservation issues, there's other reasons why it would trigger that kind so of those reasons. reasons would be apparent at this I mean, what's the difference between it would not be at this time, no. Because yeah. we don't know the not at this plan, time. We no. don't know <coughs> how so, how big the solar farm is going to be or anything. We don't have any details. Again, okay. the only reason this is in front of us is for them to achieve the zoning freeze. Okay. So, so saying so that they I don't can, understand when you mean you don't understand the footprint that they're don't. going to submit. This is. We don't know. It's so not this, here nothing's yet. been officially this, submitted. This other is than just this, saying. This, here. this, has this no is solar. just saying we want to freeze the zoning. That's I it. I and understand it, that point. So okay. we I was don't just confused when I saw a footprint and, and, a, and a rough sketch of the solar panel that said we want to be the zoning to get submitted. Was it submitted to no, us? No. Absolutely no. That could be a conceptual. It could be, but, but, but that but is nothing that has to do with us at all. Okay, so has any of the abutters received any information? Like they got notices of the subdivision? They so should have received notices of the so subdivision. Any, any, any abutters within... Owners, three not three renters, any, owners. Any uh, owners within owners. 300 okay. feet of the property line would have received... Um, do we have any copy of the Did you receive it from the town? From zero point seven thousand. Okay, so it doesn't sound like we've received any grant design or because uh, there is a yeah, nothing's been submitted. You would have only received <laughs> the notification that said that okay. that property would be in here. Um, for the, the gotcha. so the receiving something from zero point was just confusing them. Okay. So and then when they okay. submit their site plan, they will understand that. But with the design on it, yep. so I mean, there there could be a preliminary design out there somewhere, but it hasn't been submitted to us, and it's not. I mean, when it gets submitted to us, it'll be public record, mm -hmm. and you can actually come in here and view at it any time. At any time. So in a nutshell, at some point in time in the future, something does get submitted. What is the trigger for an EAA requirement or with no deal no bother? Depends. It depends on the details of the plan. Yeah, um, I, I can't even suggest what the plan might be. I haven't seen it yet myself. So I, I'm asking what the trigger points are. Yeah, well, there, there's a number of trigger points for, for environmental review. Um, and I haven't got any clue if it's going to trip any of those thresholds. We have to see a plan first. 
well, the amount of wetlands, right? Yeah. And, um, I'm, I'm not going to recite all the regulations. No, there's a no, number no. of <laughs> regulations and thresholds for different permits that okay. the engineer, as the design engineer, has to look at and make sure they address. Okay. And we, as reviewers for the planning board, review as well. Yep. Okay. And there's a very detailed process, but again, you everybody <coughs> will be notified when the site plan comes in, when the hearing is going to be. And it usually is a couple of hearings. It isn't oh, yeah. like we come in and we. we so the confusion stem from receiving something that looks like a project. That's all. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, and all any, this anything is that might have been given out is purely conceptual. In, and I'm we had an that was not clear. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And that was we have not officially applied for uh, our uh, you know we're given not uh, notification on the uh, the site plan process, which we intend to do. Uh, and I was just going to ask, what was the timing for the the next site plan? Uh, when you submit a site plan. So we have to submit first. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you'd make an appointment I, to come yes. in and submit. Yeah, exactly. Right. So we, we've done that, and, you know, so we understand. But we haven't approved this yet. Oh, we so. haven't, we yeah, haven't exactly. approved this that, yet. That's so. what we're here on, exactly. Right. Okay. <coughs> One step at a time. We understand that. <laughs> Baby I, I would like to point out there was a mistake on the agenda. Okay. Um, yeah. If you look at the 710. PM item on the agenda. Yeah. It says Masonic Woods Way to finish the subdivision plan off Brookfield Road. Mm -hmm. You should have said off Erling yeah. Game. Yeah. 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 So okay. I think that but the my recommendation would be to continue the hearing mm. to the next meeting. I think that's a good idea. So that people who didn't yeah. realize that this was off yeah. Burling Game Road and didn't bother to come would see it on the next agenda and then come and offer comments. Okay. That's all fair. So I mean, Only because it's it's a concern to us. Not if they're renting. Not if they're two two houses away from the this, um, area. This was a continuation yeah. of the opening of the hearing. Correct. And we announced at the that meeting that it would be continued to tonight. But when the agenda was posted, which people look at, yeah. right, it says Brookfield Road as opposed to Burlington Road. And that was an internal mistake or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's okay. our fault. So time yeah. wise, oh, error. We're good we're good time wise that we can get this April third um, maybe. To the next meeting. I, I, I'm not clear. I know it's emergency the one to ask on that, but anyway, I'm just wondering with our time with our timeline we put the time line, but it's not fifty five. Okay, just to through the chair if I could say the next meeting yeah, the definitive hand plan has to be uh, approved by what date? I think it's March 30th. So we're going to need, we're going to need, if that's the case, extension. We're going to need an extension. Uh, I'll, I'll be, if it was, you know, an internal error. When, that's do, you, when do you plan on submitting your site plan? Uh, as soon as, as soon as we get this so approved. The, so the, so, so technically, the next meeting that we. I don't even know if we. Ha I don't know what the agenda is. I don't know so if we have time. Yeah, I think it's, it's so technically, the the soon as you can can you know submit your site plan right. is April third. Okay. Anyways. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, again, I, I'm not. Yeah. Whatever. So, whatever that. So if we continue this to April third, and we could also, does that make sense? You can submit the site plan. We, 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 we just want to make sure that the extension that we have runs out on March 30th. Well, yeah, we'll send well, the extension. Well, wait, <coughs> but will you give us an extension? You'd ask for an extension. You would technically need to well, ask for an extension. You, we would hope that you would uh, uh, allow, I mean, just automatically give it uh, only because the, the right. mistake was here on mm -hmm. internally. Right. And I think that's why. And I think that, well, it would be more about us because we have, the, we have the deadline. We have 65 days from. Correct, 65 days from the end of the day. Okay. Uh, I just want to just say, just to say, just to say, just to say, to say, just to say, just to say, the owner of the property, so we delayed opening the hearing okay. to allow you time to. And I think the last meeting you asked to extend it again. Is that correct? We got yes. Yes. the last so meeting you asked us to. We, we had we had you booked for the last yeah, meeting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Again. So, so, so as long as push you're, it up against that wall, your comment. So was, as long as they ask for an extension, we'll grant it. It would be great. Is that yeah. is that fair to say? If the site plan is done prior to. We yeah. could and just could kind of piggyback that. and do and and you know finish. You know, submit that as soon as possible. We continue this. We get a vote on this. It's approved, and uh, and we can also uh, give the site the plan at that at point in time. 
Yeah. Right. So, it, well, so, uh, so us well, delaying yeah, would, this for one meeting won't really get in the way well, with anything. So I, I would need to advertise 14 days before right, the right, hearing. Right, right, I wouldn't okay. be able to get it in for the third. Right. Okay. But if you That's got it in point. next week, I could advertise for the 17th. The 17th. So, yes. If, if, if this is continued to the April 3rd hearing, um, to meeting, need to submit the site plan before the April 3rd meeting. Before this is approved. Yeah. 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 You can't. You can't. You can't hear it. it. It's got to come in next week in order for me to advertise for the. Okay. But you could, you could, yeah, we that couldn't put it on the third, but you could, could they submit the site plan prior to us approving the site plan? That's okay. Right? That is okay. Yeah, okay. of course it would be conditional. It would be conditional. Right, right, right. 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 I mean, again, we're dope. Yeah. The yep. delay is yep. creating a, a right. ripple effect. We right. got that. But as long as we're getting approved, and then we could yep. Yep. Uh, move forward. I, I don't think. I don't think it'll delay the project at all. I think. No, no. I, I, think think it's, 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 I think it's fair for everybody, the applicants and everything, to have, you know, to, to, to yes. fix the advertisement, you know, make sure that we have the right road the right road is listed and right. to, um, and maybe in the meantime we can send an email to, to, to Jerry and, you know, have, sure. make a comment okay. on the road to kind of make a prefix. That might be the whole reason Debbie's here tonight. I will be over 10 minutes and correct. Sure. Okay, yep. but there, let me just advertised. clarify one thing though. When we're working on the subdivision, mm -hmm. which is this here tonight, and the only reason we're continuing this tonight is because we had the wrong road <coughs> on our notice. We had Brookfield Road yeah, and not Burlingame Road. So nothing's going to, it should take two minutes because everybody has had said what they need to say here to approve this at our next meeting. Okay, so how do I, if you're going to approve it, so then my next step is what? For the help. For the help. Yeah. Well, yeah I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. We're Thank you so much. Yeah. So <laughs> I work you have Chelsea. to yell sometimes. I worked point. for 30 years at Chalk Elementary. I developed for <laughs> <laughs> And I have lived um, on Burlington Road. I'm a little bit further down. Name and address. I can see his name house. And address. Because name and address for the record, we need that. It's 57 Burlington Road. Um, and your name? Monica. Monica Lewis. Perfect. And my huge concern is the access road itself. Having lived on that road for 59 years, that entire woodland area is filled with burn pools, small streams, unbelievable number of Indian turtles. Frogs. Um, they've tried several times to put <coughs> access roads in different places along Rolling Game Road, and they've run into the same. So you learned about this access road right here. Yeah. So you know that that these this is this plan is only to freeze this land for this, zoning. For zoning. So they're saying we're just we're doing all this. We're, spa we're paying all of our engineers to create that plan just to hold the zoning just so we can build a solar farm. So where this access road is, it really means nothing to, to anybody. When the solar plan does come in, and we don't know the size or a anything about the solar plan, there, there will be an access road for the solar plan. Again, we don't know where it is. It'll be somewhere where they have frontage on a road. But the positive thing to think about is that they rarely use these once they're built, and they can't, they're not going to be build, building on vernal pools and <coughs> conservation wetlands. That, that whole forested area, all of it, is the number of birds, owls, woodpeckers. Um, I'm just worried they're going to wipe out a huge area of forested land, and What's that going to happen? What's going to happen to our ecosystem, to the environment? We've pushed through so many things in Charlton for the sake of progress. But at what point does progress become detrimental to our way of life? Mm -hmm. And sure. what we so, have. So it is. So it is an allowed use. So we are. We are not. That's not in our realm. We can't say. But if there is, if there's area up there that has wetlands on it, you said the vernal pool, they're not building a solar farm on that. No. So 
but this all will need to be surveyed and they'll they'll have to you know the engineers will have to certify you know what we'll look at it will the EPA have to send someone in to check every bit of area if what you say if you say what all that is up there then most likely some it'll be triggered that there'll be an additional review if, if but that's going to be up after the engineers get up there and start looking and in putting on a plan what's up there right now we don't know what you know what you're telling us we know but, but until it gets on that plan we really don't we, we don't we can't even have an opinion on it it's it's well i'm just wondering will all of this end up being grandfathered in because of preliminary approval was made the land will be the land the, the zoning is locked on the land that's it how many so years if, just if, reminder if how many years? Meeting, Eight. they decide to ban <laughs> solar <laughs> across the town by a zoning change <coughs> This is still allowed to be right. built. Right. So for eight years, they will be able to put a solar farm. Bed. They will be able to, they will be frozen with the current, when they submitted this preliminary, whatever the zoning bylaws said, that's what the land is locked on for eight years. Okay, so, so your concerns are, are more site, um, plan. site plans. So when the site plan comes up and we actually get a plan that says what they're going to build and how they're going to build it, that's, that's when, when all those concerns here. would, would and then be And they'll mark the wetlands right on the plan. So you'll and actually be able to, to I mean, if, and if you know that there's a vernal pool, you should be able to actually take a look at the plans and see that vernal pool drawn right there. I explored them all as a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And caught many frogs and put them back and turtles and right. spotted and salamanders and, and so. we have huge number of birds nesting. And in that's why we have area. all of our all of our board work. We have conservation. Mm -hmm. who, you know, we have highway. Okay. We all take a piece mm -hmm. of this. Did you get that? You know, they all add their yeah, comments, yep. and we, you know, we do our best to, you know, oh. make the right decisions. You know, once on again, once the site plan gets approved, I'm sorry, gets submitted, that's when all these concerns. There'll be a lot more to talk about from the site plan. Really okay. Now and I'm go. not right there. How will I know when the next meeting comes up? It's posted. Publicly, so it'll be on the planning board website. The meeting announcements will, will be there. You may have to do a little work. And, and if, if you know your neighbors, um, or talk to your neighbors over there, they'll get off. They'll between get between all of you, if you, you know, communicate, you'll know. Okay. It, it needs to be. We usually a week, at least a week in advance, but it's at least 48 hours before the meeting. It has to be posted. And you can always call the planning board office and ask them and that's when it's going to be on the agenda. Yes. That, Thank you. Yeah, that's the biggest help of all. <laughs> <laughs> or if you, you can always—it's you know, always posted on our website too, right on the planning board page on the website. We have everything posted. Okay. I will see you the next time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to say that the uh, in our in our you know when we do the due diligence and all of our studies, we're, we're going to do a structural in, uh, uh, integrity check on the road. So therefore, you know, it's gonna, we know the, the weight limits yep. of the trucks yep. we're going to bring in. So from a road standpoint, an access standpoint, uh, we know that we're going to get uh, peer review as well as mm -hmm. consulting engineers is going to have to verify mm -hmm. what our, our studies show, he's, correct? He's and then the other part of it is the, the, the woman's well, concern about the uh, uh, ecological or whatever, uh, uh, con concom has to be, it has to go through, uh, you know, an approval okay. check point from there. So we, uh, and we know what the, uh, the, the rules and the laws of, of that are, we have to abide by them. So uh, uh, for both of those concerns, uh, that would be, you know, when we start the site plan, plan review and, and the process and it will be discussed. So, and what but, is, but, excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead. To be clear though, that road could possibly go there. That road could possibly go there. Just for everyone. Yeah. Because yeah. they've done the study and they've the satellite the landmark there. So yeah. in order for us to approve that, basic requirement of that road is going to be able to be built there. Yeah, if, if, uh, if again, we did the structural uh, integrity of the road yes, check, uh, and it was, and it was I know fine. This, but to the yeah. next point. Yeah. Okay. And what was your name again, sir? My name's Tony. Tony Paul. I'm with uh, Zero Point. You're with Zero Point? Yes. Okay. So. You're a new face to Zero Point for me. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah. dropped off some things with Bill. Okay. So. All right, All right just, just one quick question. All right, so you're Zero Point, correct? Right now, where would they be finding <coughs> the construction equipment? Because we're going to build an access road using this equipment down at the end of the access road. We would have a staging right, area that would be identified on the site plan. We, just, we, just, we would like to um, continue this hearing. Yeah, 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 you yeah. guys, you guys can talk, talk in the hallway for as lo long, and, and sometimes the applicant with the abutters is the best way to answer the little those kind of questions. But we we would like to finish the rest yeah, of our okay. agenda and, well, and continue this. So, do we have a motion to continue? Make a motion we continue the ZPT oh, yes, yes. Energy Solutions Masonicum 
Woods Way to finish subdivision till April 3rd. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Going to be yeah, extended. That's so, do we have a motion to in extend the subdivision to April? Make a motion to extend the subdivision uh, approval or extension. extension to <coughs> April 3rd. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank Still you. Still need that letter, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. And from, oh, uh, from so uh, Overlook. From Overlook. Yes. From over the Sonic Home, yeah. Do we, do we still need to submit something, or are we approved through, is it April 3rd, or is it? Yeah, so the, on April 3rd, this should be, we'll get the letter. This is for April. this yep. again. No, I know. But Just the, subdivision. The, the, the deadline to get approval, I think I can't remember. Well, now your request, request will extend the deadline. Yep. Okay. You yeah. voted to extend it, so, so once we get your letter to extend it, it's okay. a lot of that. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. Yes. So okay. we still need to submit a letter. Yes. A letter. A, a yeah. quick email. I didn't email. email. Sure. Okay. 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 And okay. I know we've done that before. And it was because it was, uh, what, I, I didn't check, what was the name of the road you put on there? Brookfield. 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 Okay. 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 So it should be uh, a five minute meeting. And if you, and if, you, and if we, we don't see our site plan, honestly, do they actually have to even show up? If we're just going to, I'm going to get this question. No. It's set on the agenda. They don't need to come. There, so well, well, there may be not for the site plan. But if the we're subdivision we're plan, they will need to be here next week. Just yeah, in case there's other plan. people that read Brookfield Road and said, oh, I don't know if we're going to do that one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put you up front to make it clear. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So we have um, the greatest contact. I think they're like 6.3 miles. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to speak a little bit about that. Okay. Right. Absolutely. So, um, Al Gordon was always very good at reminding me when the annual contract was up and um, with everything that's been going on uh, with us and at the company, it kind of slipped through the cracks. So, I was reminded of it by my assistant. So, this really expires the end of June and covers the balance of the year 19. Um, so, obviously, you know, we would like to continue our service with the board. Mm -hmm. um, this and beyond. Um, it's often nice of you to work for last year for free. That was <laughs> no problem. Um, I, I also want to to um, address my absence at the last meeting. Um, and I don't make apologies. I think most of you guys have done me wrong. I'm, I'm honest about everything. And uh, I had three commitments that night. I had to choose one. I had to choose my own project um, with my client to go to. Um, so. Um, was not able to be here for an important meeting. I knew it was an important meeting. The definitive subdivision, I missed another meeting as well, which you guys don't care about it yet. Um, so I, I truly apologize for not being here and, and, uh, and having um, someone to ask questions of if it came up. Um, I tried to make myself available um, over the phone that day before if anyone had questions. Um, I did speak to you briefly uh, about that. So again, I apologize for that. Um, it's an unusual circumstance to have that happen. It, frankly, I can't remember another time I've missed a meeting that the board has asked me to be at um, in almost 20 years now of work for the board. So um, I, I, it couldn't have been more inconvenient, I understand, <laughs> with the timing of everything, but I wanted you to hear it from me. Personally, I apologize for it. Um, understood. So, yeah. so since we're pretty much into the year, I think that no matter, I mean. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion we uh, approve this uh, agreement for services with Graves Engineering. Oh. Can I ask a question? Yep. Um, have, do we have a copy of last year's contract so we can compare it? Actually, the year before? Yeah, this, sorry, this is my name. You know, Jane, put your hands on it, but I don't oh. know where. I have it. Thank oh, you. Yeah, me too. Oh, thank you. So let me second the motion, now we can discuss it. <coughs> okay. That's it. That's okay. Let's get the procedure through. Thanks. And I think we'll be, dis we'll, we would be discussing this again um, in June. No, or uh, well. Prior to June. June. May probably. Yeah, May probably is what I'm thinking. So I, I think at this Oh time no, it's July first, so we could we could push it in June. So it was <laughs> June thirtieth. <30th is laughs> 
Just so you know, this ends on June 30th. Right, the new one will begin <laughs> July 1st. Yes. Mike, other than some of the fees, Reader's Digest version, has anything really changed? It's uh, no. The, the language is the same as the last. Okay. It's been for a while. We haven't changed the standard terms. Okay. The, the rates obviously get adjusted every of year. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, you'll see there is a new position created for senior Thanks. project manager. Yes. That isn't going to apply to you okay. necessarily um, because of the whether you guys are aware of it or not. Um, I was going to ask that. The owner of the company, Don Gray, is retired. Yeah. Myself and another bought the company from him. So we had to create another, another position, a management position called senior project engineer for certain projects that, okay. again, that won't apply to you folks. Oh, but we like his rate better. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you won't, he won't be billed at the chief engineer rate. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and, and Tim will be billed at all tonight. I'm not well, hearing my own like him better, so, uh, <laughs> like, like um, Is it you and Jason? No. 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 Jeff. 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 Sorry, that's what I'm, yeah. yeah. Oh, money bag. Well, shut up. Oh, So, I think, you know, and, you know, we like to keep right. tabs on what our competitors do for a peer review, mm -hmm. and I hard pressed to find anyone that is as reasonable as us in our rates. Thank you. No. Right in line. are in line with most rates. I, I yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Thank Good motion seconding. Yep. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Thanks, Mike. So this will be original and we'll yeah. <coughs> sign this. Pass it around for signatures. Mm -hmm. We'll just use this as our original and perfect, and then. Yeah, you may be home by eight thirty. We need two. Can we make? Here's another one. Just two originals. Oh, I like to take one back. With oh, okay. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like things are coming out. Should be like the greatest. Okay. Yeah, because that one that one came out of the greatest project. Okay. One and then in, there. in your packet, you okay. have the other original. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Okay. Should I date it today, Mike? Today's okay. 20th? Yeah. Alicia, if you want to date that one, thank you. Is today the 20th? 20th. Yep. Oh, okay. Hold on. Thank you. Hold on. Wow. We, have, we have some commitments to him. I'm sure. <laughs> He's been in Florida for the last two months. <laughs> oh, okay. He'll be there for a while longer, at least. But he, he's done. Oh. Thank you. And he's done one with nothing to do? That? That. That he has three kids, and oh. none of them had any interest in the business. Wow. That's too bad. They're so doing other things. Oh. That's all right. Uh, well, good for you. Thanks. Not sure there's anything else on the agenda for Mike. Have yeah, no. Thanks, Mike, well, for coming out. Fascinated by zoning changes. That's not the solar. It's the solar motor. You want to see it? I'd like to see the graph. I've got two of these, so I've got the one from home, too. This is, this, so this is up in May for? It's up the zoning. The solar is at the end. So I prepared a draft um, legal notice for you to, to look at. I think we need to schedule the date of the public hearing. <coughs> uh, whether you want to do that at one of your regular meetings or have a separate meeting for the hearing. We have what, a number of articles. I don't know how much time. Yeah, when do we need to have them done by? So the town meeting is the, the 20th. 20th, 20th. So we need to be done by April 20th. Is that what you're saying? We need to be done, I think it's uh, 21 days before. The town meeting. The town meeting, right. So if you could do it Should by the end of April, you'd be fine. I'd rather add an extra meeting and just have it be a shorter Ooh. meeting as opposed to us going to 11 or 12 trying to pack yeah. it onto Good night. Mike. Good night. Bye bye, Mike. Um, Good night. I don't mind meeting one more time during April just to get this done. Well, could we do some of it tonight since it's fairly short? Well, meeting. no, we, the can, the we, we can get public the dates, hearing. We'll look at the dates. Oh, okay, you're right. talking, I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't hearing. say correctly. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Talk about the public hearing. Right, I wasn't there. I was yeah. just on what was in front of me.
Okay. Only because some of these people can get very emotional, they're going to want to talk a lot, and I just, it just gets to be really late sometimes. Do we Nothing want to controversial though. Really? What? Well, marijuana stuff is always marijuana, controversial. Yeah, and yeah. it's always, yeah, but, always um, controversial. The, they have their own fan clubs. Rezoning uh, for for treehouse might be controversial. The sound like I don't. Oh, I don't bet know. it will be. Really? Yeah. yeah. It, it goes right up to the um, Cape and Hill land, so I don't. Yep. You know. Oh, Cape and Hill loves them though. Do they? Yeah. I can't. Okay. Think they get along really well. Yeah. 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 I, I would think they do. So. I think they. Um, they're, do they? They're, or they're no? beneficial what are you to hearing? each other. They're actually talking to each other about trails, nature trails. Oh, okay. oh really? And hops, so they and pops, fields, yep. and benefits because Cape Hill is really there. Yep. They have a what? financially, they really need help. So you know, <laughs> um, Treehouse is their biggest boom. Charitable, <laughs> bet, charitable so events. Being fair business. I'm just, I'm just saying that, that that's right. a possibility. Um, oh, I agree with you. Any one oh, of these could trigger craziness, <laughs> as we've seen. See, I didn't think a new thing was that bad. I think that. Oh. Energy storage is going to be a big Gas one. Gas transmission facilities. Yeah. <laughs> Solar could be. Solar. Yeah. Yeah. Time. You're going to have some older landowner, and I don't mean older as an age, but people that have owned their land for a while that are mm -hmm. going to come in mm -hmm. um, who are going to want to fight their rights to not have a moratorium. So if we did do a separate meeting the Wednesday before the end of the month, it'd be the 24th. Mm -hmm. Is that? Is that too late, just in case we don't get through yeah. it? That's. There's nine items on here. Do we want to try to do them all in one night, or do you want to break it up? This is the only thing on the agenda, though. Okay. Um. So what date are you saying? April twenty-fourth. Twenty-fourth. I mean, well, it's not a requirement that you complete it within twenty-one days of town meeting. It's just that town meeting can't vote on it unless you make a recommendation hmm. within twenty-one days. So yep. you can still continue the hearing into May if you wanted to. But and you have to make a recommendation or else town meeting can't. So can, can we, you talking about the 17th and the 20th, can we open it on the 17th and then close it on the 20th and, and have it Yes, yeah, so we could open it on the 17th. And then have the 20th, like, and do some of it. I mean, how, I don't, I haven't seen our agendas yet. Um, so I don't know what exactly. Yeah, I don't know how busy the 17th is, so there's, this, I mean, yeah, April I is here, and it didn't look too bad, but this April 3rd seems pretty short right now. So for the 17th, um, Jean was going to fill you in on this later, but we were planning on doing oh, that's right, too. the kickoff meeting for the zoning diagnostic on the 17th, so okay. we could push that back. Uh, we, well, we just we may have a solar site plan for Masonic for that meeting, or score if that continues from the next meeting. I was going to say, uh, is four score scheduled for the next? It is, right? The four score so yes, scheduled for the, the 17th. Third, for the peer review. You could, in fact, approve it that night or it could be continued. I don't know. Was that June the 17th? The four the score is on the third. Okay. Yeah. But I, it They're also on this one. Oh, could be. Yes. Oh, good. Could be. yes. Okay. Right. That's good. Um, on our draft thing for the 17th, it's on there, too. Sorry. So, um, so that's, you know, an hour and a half agenda anyway. Mm -hmm. um, on the one for the third, the agenda, mm -hmm. it also says Brookfield Road. What's that? It also right. says Brookfield Road. That hasn't, been, that hasn't been posted yet. That's just right. the draft. We want to make sure that gets changed. But right. maybe Janie has already submitted <laughs> that because she won't be back in time. So She'll be back, She'll be back, back next April 1st. I thought she said. She'll be back next week in time to post it. Uh, okay. Because next Wednesday is the 27th, which is enough. Uh, but I'll make sure that she collects okay. that. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to start this on the 17th? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we have um, a little bit of time to change if we need to, but I think we should start early um, as we can. Um, I mean, I honestly don't think, I think people will show up, but I don't think it's going to be that. It's all, th everybody, there's a lot of people going to town meeting, and yes. I think it'll all be yes. decided on the floor. Yep. Yep. So, um, the yep. small things, I mean, talking about the solar piece, you know, the 30 cap, so people might have problem with that. 
but why would if 30 the, the, uh, 30 total of solar facilities oh, that's, what, that's, facilities. What, that's okay. what the so they didn't go with the, they didn't go with the megawatt limit they went with the right. number of 30 facilities okay. so there's already 25 actually 20 i gave you a, a handout yeah, today. Okay. Sure in there. i saw that so yeah. I mean, it depends how you count them. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, if, if everything that proposed was built, we're right. pushing 60 no, megawatts, I know. No, you shouldn't count 44 old Worcester Road. Well, you had a little note there, should this be counted? No. Yeah, I mean, you did approve it, and we did say that. But they missed mean, their, well, they we, missed their date. It's rescinded. We extend it. We re, they rescinded it right. because. Yeah. They rescinded, and they missed the date to extend. You rescinded it. Right. We they, did? they asked for an extension, and you didn't. We said no, because they had So it was after the fact. It was after the expiration that they right. asked, so but they requested the whether you counted or not. It uh, was approved. They way back. But it's closed now. It's not. It's not an active. It's not an open approved because we had them. They at we we. It was a choice. You can't have two site plans open at the same right. time on a same piece of property. So, it, the other one was chose. So that that was why it's it's they would have to start over from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't count it, but still like that. If that's a question, that's something you change on the floor. Yep. I think that the solar committee met for months, yep. and that's what they said, 30? Well, then well, they were under the assumption that we had about 25. So I actually sat down and created a list. Good. And um, so if you don't count um, the orchards, you'd have 30. Mm -hmm. so I think we need to mm -hmm. pick another number. Okay, so we're, we're at our limit now mm -hmm. at 30. At 30. So yeah. Can we say 31. thirty-five? Um, thirty to thirty-five. Thirty thirty-one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so where was the megawatt? I wanted the total megawatt. Um, because some of them are only like a half a megawatt, okay. and we allow a lot more projects yeah. in under a, a megawatt. Pack. How many are actually built of those? And, okay. and the megawatt could change over time. Twenty-one. So only twenty-one of those are built. And I, I mean, well, mm -hmm. twenty-one and one, two, three yeah. are oh, under construction. construction. So the list I, is a uh, handout number eight. So yeah, I guess. Right. So some of them are under construction now, as you can see. That would take you up to twenty-four. Oh, you got oh I have it. I just don't have the seventeen. I yeah, did. Okay. I did sort of number them this time. So yeah, I found <laughs> yeah. That, that was helpful. Uh, so, you know, I think on the previous list, some of them might have been combined. That's how they got a lower number. Really. They had their own interconnection. Mm -hmm. Considered that more of a discrete project. That's how I got with this number. Oh, I see. You've got like Griffin Road listed twice. Well, no, we had actually two applications. That's two we applications. Had Griffin okay. One and Griffin Two. But one five. Three bay path, a five bay path. Okay. Sort of came in as one project because there are two separate owners. Right. And they each have their own interconnection, and okay. sort of that is two rather than one. Did we get this? Did we get a copy of this to the solar committee? I sent okay, it to Lori today. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. So we don't have to pick a number tonight, but just you know. Right. I well, that's. I mean, during the open meeting, makes perfect sense to right. let yeah. let the public decide. And right. I'm gonna based on what I'm hearing. There's a handful, a small handful of people that are going, oh my God, you're going to cap it at 30? And then there's the rest of the population that's <laughs> saying, 30? Why do we need 30? Why so do we have 30 of them? I just, I just they're already built. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly would, would what. That number, like, would that number include the municipal? Or would they be exempt from that number? I don't recall what the I don't, municipal. I don't I thought municipal was sec was separate on the but but it might have I read been. it a while ago so. I know there was talk about that. Planning board shall approve no more than 30 large solar systems townwide. This limit shall not include municipal systems on town-owned power. So the bay path would be a regional mm -hmm. school district. I'd, you you could, know, you could change this if you wanted to. Well, what, yeah, we'll wait. I mean, at the meeting, we'll we'll all be read up on the details of this, and we'll be able to come um, well prepared to. We wouldn't want to cap out and not be able to allow them. Well, to we could always change it later too. Right. Yeah. You know, if it decides they want to do it and they want to go in front of a town meet meeting and get that yeah. changed. To do a home law, home, what they call it home law. Um, some uh, state legislators are looking to relieve themselves of whatever was adopted 30 years ago. That's Mostly a technicality, I guess, at this point. Okay. Uh, um, exercise they have to yeah, nothing moves fast. 
tell it's a matter. <laughs> That one on Brookfield, which is approved pending outcome of moratorium, mm -hmm. uh, number 25. They would be protected to bill. They, so they would, they would not have to comply with the current zoning, solar zoning bylaw. So that one's in? If, if you approve that okay. definitive plan eventually. So that would apply to 25 and 31. 31. But I think, one thing I was thinking of, maybe where we cite the number 30, Mm -hmm. We might want to say, including projects already approved, or something to that effect. So that 30 number includes all of these on the list. Mm -hmm. okay. Large number. <laughs> if you look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's almost 60 megawatts, which is more than enough to power our I was our just going to try to. So we could cut off from the grid right now. <laughs> be self-sufficient. And yet my electric bill keeps going up. Okay, so you'll get a big discount with the LNG that's coming in. Here it's open. So you may recall for number 25 that they did not apply for these protection. Correct. They uh, did. But they have now. But they have now. So any changes between. So there's between a question <laughs> about that. So they, so I don't know whether they would have to conform to this new zoning bylaw or not or some greater setbacks that would affect their layout of panels under the new bylaw. Well, under the new bylaw. Right. But so that's, this a, that's a question in terms of how that's going to affect them. With their submittal now, doesn't that freeze that? or No, because right, cause right now well, currently is moratorium. Right. Oh, they didn't true. submit uh, previously know, yeah, before to the moratorium. Though, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay. I think we might need to get help I on mean, that I think one. that <laughs> even, even for the projects that, are, that have gotten their freeze, we should use as much discretion as we can with the new because with this be, with the, the new the new solar guidelines are pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we were lacking a lot in in some of the plans that we approved just because we were under the impression that we had such little control. Mm -hmm. And to the so even looking at our own old zoning, there are certain things like an access road around mm -hmm. and those kind of things which seemed for safety reasons, something everybody should have had, but something that we didn't. Better buffers, better so those, screening. Right, and those kind of things, I think we should just kind of take into consideration maybe some of the setbacks we wouldn't be able to, but the applicants seem to be pretty <coughs> willing to make us happy as long as we don't have them doing something extreme. So, sure. so even, you know, freeze or not, I think we'll, kind of take some guidance from the um, the new the new regs anyway. And I'm assuming that they'll do well at town meeting, but you never know what's going to happen there, so I guess. Could be a hundred after town meeting, who knows? Oh, just one thing, I'm scheduling myself in the week the next day. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. So we'll all go and review all of these the, the yes. different, um, we have the power facilities which we talked about making pretty much everything special permit because we should have a lot, a, a lot more discretion to make sure yes. that they're not popping up next to mm -hmm. home. Um, I did get a, an email from Lori today after I sent her that list and she said, um, I hoped that the battery storage article, which is on the code page, if you remember, mm -hmm. Uh, would also include energy produced by wind power. I wanted it to include all renewable energy sources. So either I misunderstood or she wasn't, she didn't really present it that way, but. That's not how I heard her when the, she was here. But uh, she's talking about energy storage, so if we have, if on the Warren article, if it says this, is it something that we can add to the, to the, to but I mean, we could even do it now if you wanted to, because it hasn't been advertised yet. But or if you wanted to wait for the public hearing, you could make the change then. Well, it might be cleaner to do mm -hmm. it now. Yeah, just go. So how would we uh, okay. classify? It? Isn't wind already part of energy storage? If you wanted wind under, if, so if you if you have your your turbine and you're right. charging batteries with the turbine, wouldn't the batteries that came that resulted from any anything? Sort of fall under. That's how I would read it too, because it's still energy, energy storage. Mm -hmm. I would think. I mean, given the definition. So I don't know how she. I mean, we can reach out. 
we can reach out to her in whatever. Okay. Either that or under this energy comes in multiple forms, including, and then list, just list wind. We don't currently allow large wind. <laughs> we don't projects. have any in town, we don't do we? Any. Well, every time someone puts an application in, uh, the, the town was, goes a little crazy. One was proposed before I got here, I think. And, uh, I thought so too. Well, Masonic we, proposed yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then um, didn't they pass? They to passed do one too. Yeah. And people went nuts on all anything. This public notice is going to include everything that we're. I try to have a separate <laughs> item for each article there. Right, but it's because it's going to be one notice. I would, yeah, I think that would be cheaper that way. Yeah. Okay. We just include it all into one. So, wind energy conversion systems are allowed in all districts, except for village, by site plan. I think special permit. Bring that, bring that right in. Special permit. We could add that. There's another article where that could go if you wanted to. We don't. We just. We, we want to stick it under the energy storage, and because we only have so many spots on the Morin article, right? How many do we have? Pardon? How many? Uh, I, well, we got um, reserved for, for all of these that are on this list. Okay. But the war is now closed. Right. So, so nine of them. But honestly. We could. We could modify the wind an existing. Under these aren't cast in stone yet. These are still subject to your approval. So right. we make changes to what you have in front of you. So you would like to make wind a special permit use? Yeah, Put it in special permit. With the, with the yeah, thinking, I'm surprised we didn't have anything on wind now anyway. So what do you mean, uh, storage for, for wind? Yeah, so no. Um, no, uh, wind no, the actual site actual, of the wind. Actual you have no wind is allowed everywhere by site plan. Okay. And okay. we should just put it special permit. And, and again, it just gives us more discretion. Right. If, the, if there's houses right there or a school, I mean, I know there's other regulations yep. with schools and stuff, but yep. it just, it's it, just cool. sometimes it takes a human no, eye no, to look and yep. say, doesn't yeah. and to be able to have the discretion to say they clearly shouldn't go there. <laughs> like it doesn't. It's so right. the next wave in energy generation is probably going to be fuel cells. I, I I've heard that by from a hundred different people yep. on that the solar is going to be obsolete yep. in what five years. Yep. I've heard that. Fuel and cells is the next technology, but it's, I'm not sure there's enough no. Or maybe we put something in to say special permit. I don't I don't know. What's the process of that though? Like a fuel cell. It, it's it's a it's a chemical generating process. So it's it's. You know, um, smaller than solar arrays, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's a chemical, electrical generator. You should wait and for that yeah, technology yeah. to become available before you amend the zoning bylaw because mm -hmm. you don't know yeah. enough about it yet. Yeah, I can add. Um, I know the wind energy conversion systems to this article that lists L N and S. Just add N to this article. We require special permits. Okay. Or if that's what you would like. Let's yeah, let's get it on it. Let's if if we're looking at all you know all the the, the energy storage, let's just get it in. And let's just mm -hmm. all the energy get, stuff get that in. Wants, yeah. Yep. You guys on the board when Miss Anacom tried to do the window. Yeah, that was yeah. interesting. Yeah. It didn't seem like a bad plan. It's the app the neighbors just was oh, was just freak. Yeah. They were gonna kill birds and they were gonna mm -hmm. get brain damage and all the kids gonna get autism from listening to the tick of the yeah, it was pretty uh, you feel bad, but they truly got a lot of their data from I hate windmills dot com. <laughs> That's where it came from. It tr like <laughs> It's I've been close enough to a big enough one to really have an opinion, but they are ugly. Yeah. Well, well I have to say, having been name. close to them in yeah. Utah and yeah. again in Denmark, they're actually, they can be made quite lovely. They, You can see them for miles. They're, they're almost romantic looking, well, if you will. In, in, in much of Europe, and Germany has a bunch of them, too. Yes. They can be made nice looking. Yes. 
but no one wants to go through the money to make them nice. Can't make it look like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I mean, it's like a cell phone tower. You exactly. can't make it look like a tree. You can put branches on it. <laughs> people could live in them. You could. Yeah. <laughs> maybe low, yeah, maybe so low income, so we could get a, yeah, we could bump up our percentage. Exactly. I always mm. liked the way they looked. I think they're awesome. I actually talked about putting one up a one time years ago from the hill. Any other trees? So we'll just we'll, we'll all come and be prepared and yep. Yep. there isn't tons of reading material here. Yeah, yeah. start on yeah. the seventeenth and okay. hopefully it doesn't go over. Okay. Um okay. So we have So it's going to be on our agenda on the 17th. Is that what? Do we have these am amendments posted on our website, or we should? Not yet. Okay. So we should get those posted up there so that people can get a look at them. Okay. That chart in the picture works. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple of other items of information here. Uh, you see a letter from James Silver on. Uh, Four score marijuana plan. Mm -hmm. I, I'll present this at when we have the hearing uh, at the next meeting. But they have commented on, on their plan. Uh, they obviously would like to see zero odor emissions from from that project. And that should, I mean, with the order engineer, that should take right. care of. Yes, we should be able to get clarification on that. Uh, item 15. Uh, is some correspondence between the building commissioner and uh, James McMahon on the plan and process for the for allowing recreation uh, dispensary on uh, Worcester Road. So just so you know, um, they are working together to so that when they submit a plan to you, it will be something that's allowed. So who's, I'm sorry, what, who's working on what? James McMahon <laughs> came to the meeting of the yep. board a couple weeks ago yep. Yep. and yep. presented his concepts for, for Green Gold. allowing right, yep. okay. uh, retail sale of recreational marijuana and you can require him to come back in for site plan approval. Yep. And he indicated that he would do a shuttle service, have an off-site parking lot. So a lot of this correspondence from Mr. Ness was, is concerning that off the parking issue. Yeah, they're, they're working so on that so they can come back to report to us a little bit. And okay. I also ran into Jim and I said, you're going to have all these cars waiting in this over behind CVS and like lots of people just waiting. With, is, is there going to be bathrooms? And they said they're looking into all of that. So okay. I was going to say, so because so, retail is only allowed in industrial right now. Are they grandfathered? Yes, health wise is, is grandfathered. Are they grandfathered? Healthwise has been in since. But they, they no, didn't not submit for recreation. Well, not, they did not, not submit a plan for recreation. Right. No, right. they were so in. Are they grandfathered? Are the, is recreational land, and allowed use in that property? Their land must be. Their land is. is no, they nope. did not sit, submit a plan, but I believe under the cannabis control regulations, they are allowed to con to add recreational by state law. Are they? Okay. But they have to come back to us. But they have okay. to come back to you for site plan approval. Okay, right so now, are I they going to present new drawings? Even even in a zone what? that's, I'm sorry, even in a zone that's not zoned for recreational, they can still open recreational. So or what is that just through their CCC they permits? They have a the zoning. They have a building permit. Okay. okay. The building permit gives them protection. Okay. From the zoning changes. Okay. So okay. they're allowed to come right. in under the old. It final. does definitely. Yes. Yeah. But they, but did they pull the building permit only for medical? Yes. It's a building permit. That's a lawyer question? Can well, we no, use Mark for other things? A, no. I think it's um, clear. It just says you, if you have a building permit, you're... I, you right. I, I okay. think that we need to, to have council okay that before we permit anything that we shouldn't. Absolutely. So let's, um, let's ask for approval to ask council um, a question and see if we just want to get it in writing from an attorney um perhaps we can use utilize mark he'd be a great person to ask the question too and um, is he up on is is mark the best person to ask for cannabis 
Yeah, he's land use. He's, he's land use. Yeah, he's land use. That's so what it comes doesn't matter. It could be a gas station. station. And he's all, okay. and he's all it, it could be a gas station. It could be anything. If a gas station was allowed there prior right. to right, that, exactly. but they didn't if have they, a gas station. I, 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 I think he's only special counsel to you for the appeals. You had him for okay. the and, and that's fine. So I'm not sure you can use him for so that. So we could, put, we, could, we could check. But So my or, thought is if, if somebody was going to build a convenience store in an area that allowed convenience stores. That didn't stores, have a liquor license. So that allowed convenience stores and allowed gas stations, and they were going to build a convenience store. But then the zoning changed, and gas stations were no longer allowed in that zone. Mm -hmm. Would they be allowed to build a gas station because they opened a permit on a, on My a convenience store? My answer to your thing is no, they would not be allowed to build a gas station. Because at the time they came to you for the gas station, it's not allowed. Well, th 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 that's kind of what I'm going at, but I, it, it would be good to get it clarified from exactly. somebody because before we go right. against our own zone. Because somebody's going to say something to the other way. Sure. Bill, you mind checking with Kurt first, see if he has any case law okay. off top hand. Sure. Check with him first, then if... I think the thing is the record, the, the Cannabis Control Commission the Trump card? granted they, them the right to do they, that. Yeah. No, so. the That's Cannabis Control Commission well. has to give them, yeah. give, well, give them we'll clarify. the... Um, yeah, just, yeah, just to clarify. There's some gray area. They get the first recreational permit. But it also says they have to comply with all of our zoning on everything. Mm -hmm. So let's just make sure that we don't mess up on that. Okay. Um, and we want to maybe get an attorney get. or two's that's opinion all, before all. we um, go we ahead and move ahead with something like that. I just have one other thing to add to that because I attend the Marijuana Advisory Committee and Mr. McMahon, Attorney McMahon was there and at the last meeting he was saying, oh, I don't think that there's going to be any problems. So many more have opened. You're not going to see a big rush. And my comment, and Danny Dowd sort of backed me up, was be prepared. Because mm -hmm. I said, what happens when you go into your store the first day you're going to do recreational or the first day you're going to do medical? And you have 50 cars there, and you're not allowed to have 50 cars there. <laughs> you know? You, you cannot just assume that you're not going to have that many people there. Mm -hmm. You need a plan out. in place, yeah. and on the first days, at least for the first two weeks mm -hmm. of medical and the first two weeks of recreational, you better have Prepare some other Prepare for the 100-year storm for those right. first couple weeks, just in case. But if just the way he was saying, I was not comfortable with what he was saying. But they also said they didn't have to come for a site plan for their exactly. recreation. Exactly. So and, and, and they were also the ones that... Um, offered something else and then they took it back out. Oh, no cash in overnight and everything? Yeah, and they backed right out of that one? Yeah, I'm a little bit leery mm -hmm. of him. Low <laughs> and slow. Low <laughs> and slow. So oh. you might want to, you know, take some time to read his response yeah. to Kurt's memo. Uh, he he <laughs> described his plan for shuttle service. I'll shoot a no, nice no, email no, over no. to um, Robin and ask her if we can have an attorney um, to look at that for us um, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, during my lunch break. Check with yeah. lunch check, lunch with, lunch check break with Kurt first. Yeah. Um, or while you're in the bathroom. While I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> God, um, it's not the camera. It's not we do have a set of minutes. Yes. For January 31 for the oh, open yeah. session. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at his response, and it's going to be like Walmart, where you can order it online, and then you can just go in with your little pin number, and they'll bring it up to you. A drive-up <laughs> marijuana <laughs> facility. No. <laughs> so looking at the minutes. And do we have to permit like a drive-through then? It yeah. actually, it's in there that they're going to do a drive-through. There's a special lane where they will um, give it to you with your special pin number. That's exactly what I was talking about. Was that on the plan? That's on, if you look at his response, it's exactly no, but what was that on the site plan? I don't no. recall seeing it on the no. site plan. Yeah. So maybe That's what Cornerstone I said, you need to. Watch Cornerstone just closed it in Oxford. Perhaps right. they'll use the old Cornerstone there you go. the drive-up lane. Perfect. <laughs> that's what and I want. I think it's a really good idea for people in cars to go buy their pot right through a drive-through. <laughs> 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 We well, you know, Marty's left on the side of the cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Marty's has a drive-up liquor store, so you know. Right. Uh -huh. The drive-through beverage store. Same yeah. Thing. Yeah. Open it up. Let them drive right through. Two of them. You know, McDonald's will be selling them off the side. <coughs> Bill, does the Board of Health have a have a copy of the? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping way back to the board score. Do they have a, a copy of their order mitigation plan, and have they looked at that? 
Border Health should uh, have a copy I of that, right? I believe so. Yeah. I thought I mean, they that's all, that's they had, it's on the yeah. town website. Okay. If you read right. the so. whole memo, they said that they looked at the memo and it doesn't seem like it's enough. And, 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 and okay, but, okay. The, but we've, we've got an concerns. engineer to look at that. Right. that right. We'll either right. say it is enough. Okay. And they're in the loop of that. Right? Sure they, they, yes, they are. Okay. Yeah. okay. So minutes. So minutes. Um, it looks good. I'll look over. Yeah, I, I make a motion. We accept the minutes for I'll January thirty first. Open favor. session. Aye. 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 Um, okay, you sort of did both of them together for the open oh, session. So we can't approve. We session. can't approve executive session minutes unless we're in executive session and we didn't post for executive session. I haven't written those up yet. Yeah, we don't. Okay. These, okay. This, this okay. is just okay. as we go okay. into executive okay. session. Okay. Doesn't have those minutes. Oh, I'm so. sorry. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, I just have one question on this NEC. Is that going to be, we were talking this afternoon, and is mm -hmm. that going to be behind Millennium? Yeah. Or I haven't actually it's, seen it's off plan. of that in that area. I don't think that they've submitted a plan yet for it. But yeah, it's definitely going to be on the road. On that road. Well, that's Sherbrooke Road or Sherwood yeah, Road. Yeah, Sherwood Lane. So it's going to yeah. be within this. Well, this, right down, go true. down where that it extends over. Yeah, that no, right there, and it extends over into the other zone. Isn't that what Kurt was saying? Sherbrooke. Yeah. Well, Sherwood Lane comes up and loops around here. I, I, it doesn't show go any further than right here. Right no, no, that's just the line on there. I did the same oh. thing. Isn't that so squiggly that? one? No, that's a river. No, that's this is it's a stream. This is a stream. Oh, it's a stream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I looked right. on. I was looking on the the GIS map, and I I, I I thought it stayed within the IG district. It may okay. go along the border of it. Okay. So I don't know if they're going to build up along this end or this end or. Okay. So I, I um, sent out I sent out an email. Charlton owns this property here, doesn't it? Yep. The town. The town owns that property there. So it's I'm not going to go outside of here. This is. This I do have a. This is a, a map that they presented at the public hearing to the selectmen um, initially. So this is the alternative site, which is now their preferred site, right. and that was the original site on the twenty. It's not very clear, but it's. I yep. sent out I sent an email to the chair of the board of selectmen to. Um, Asked if they would approve because they have to approve all committees. If they would approve a um, an L and D committee, mm -hmm. um, we got to get their okay to do that. But we're right. the only interveners, so it just makes sense that we would sponsor. Well, or, like, they'll, a they'll have to have a new public hearing for this one, yeah. this new location, right. which will allow additional interveners and and, and mm -hmm. everything. So they still have a chance to to jump okay. in if they if they choose. And, um, so, but it just makes sense. I mean, yeah. being the planning board. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, to good idea. have um, uh, at least a representative from all the boards, so everybody can kind of get, and then a couple of residents. There's a couple of residents that are really concerned, and yeah. they post. They're they're mm -hmm. publicly posting mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, so they they want to make sure road here. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. 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 We can yeah. have a committee yeah. that's not yeah. a, an yeah. official yeah. committee yeah. and yeah. have okay. meetings yes. anyways. Clear. But I feel like we're out of the loop, and I feel like. We're interveners, the only interveners right now, we're not getting very much information, and I'm hearing it from other people, and it's not okay. So there needs to be, I mean, I don't know if, if we can even, like, pretty much send them a letter saying, we need to, I don't need to be hearing stuff from our town administrator. Yeah, I don't. When, you know, I, I think that we need to be kept up to date. If, um, they're asking to not have a site plan review because mm -hmm. it's too costly, that kind of stuff. And I think we really need to, to be part of it. Um, I know there's even um, other board members that are kind of wondering what's going on. So yeah. it just makes sense to get a committee and get a, a small group that is very focused on that one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even want think I want to be on it, so maybe somebody in here can volunteer to be very, very active on that committee. But um, I'm just yeah, I don't, I don't think the process. Thing. I don't think the process has started yet to get to that point where. But they, I mean, they haven't submitted anything. There's information so, no. that that's coming in, and then we get it like 20 days later. Yeah, I just, letters. I don't like. I'm just. Oh, yeah. you there was a site plan for that subdivision, or there was a, a you know, conceptual. For, for the, the conceptual drawing. So I think all the stuff is going to be in the hearings. Uh, and once it gets into the hearings, that's where it's going to be decided. That's where we can intervene. Right. Once like, it's again, we want to open right our now, mouths when they say no site plan. We want to open our mouths loud and say. Right now, they're just going. 
testing the wind and seeing mm -hmm. you know what's there but that would all have to be mm -hmm. in the site planning process or the, uh, well, they're, they're the approval for process no site planning, yeah, so. well <laughs> not the site planning i'm not the site planning right, but, but the state level, but the state I mean, level they're going to citing a process like the whole they, they want to be at, they want us to you know support their idea to not pay tax you know to be a, you know exempt from taxes and i say no way like those, like those kind of things we need to talk mm -hmm. like we should have a committee together who kind of knows what they're doing to, mm -hmm. and then to keep everybody in the loop with yep, minutes yep, and yep, with yep, whatever yep. because Each people are asking me tons of things from the outside and i kind of say i know what you know and if we need to be a little more transparent i feel like <laughs> um could we ask to be copied on any correspondence between the selectmen and um the college line? Maybe that would help immensely because then we don't have to we, attend their we meetings. We could definitely ask and see if there's correspondence being put out there. It doesn't. I mean, emails are easy. It doesn't hurt to add yeah. a name or two that we're not violating open meeting, and then Jane can send it out to everybody, so that way everybody's on the same page. Well, Jane is the con is the main contact, right. so she should be getting stuff. But I, I think that again, I hear I'm hearing it from other other people, and it's kind of you know, I, I just don't think that it's good. Everybody should be kind of getting all the information at the same time from the, at the state level. Sure. So um, I'll make that my next project to work on. To, but I sent the email. We'll see if we get a response. I don't see why we wouldn't be approved to have an official committee that we would have minutes and stuff again to keep people in the loop. Again, along with NEC, I just want to bring it up again that we are listed as having a meet. Members of the Charlton Planning Board is having a meeting on February 13th with concerning this project and we didn't no. um, but Bill did meet with them but still online it says that we did and met with members of the Charlton Planning Board. Who else met with you? Who else was in the room? Uh, Kurt was there, um, there were two guys, Jake Dival and Boris Bevanoff from the company and I had someone from the fire department, I think it was um, Dennis Carlson. Yes. So anybody else? To change no. planning no. board to no. planning no. department. No. She wasn't there. We have well, I just don't, anybody going to their site and seeing this, yeah. they're going to say, planning board is at the meeting, why don't we know about it? No, we didn't have a meeting. So this is them. on there? That's what, it's on their website. I went there today. Right. And, uh, we, I, I mean, they should, we, we need to make it very formal for them. They need, they need to be transparent and they need to get us information and we need to go demand that. And. We learned our lessons from the right. right. so right. We want those kind of people to chime right. in and be yeah. part of that. Um, so can we, as the planning board, write somebody and tell them, please remove that from their yeah. website? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or, or change it to a member of the planning. This topic is not on your agenda, so I She just printed that right before she came in. I, 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 I didn't even know, honestly. This but is... Planning board business. This was a memo, and it's planning board business. Bring it on. <laughs> so okay, I'm so I'm just send him a letter and yeah, ask him to get formal yeah. Yeah. So it was send him a letter and ask him to. I can write it as a member of the planning board, and I checked with my board on this night, right. and nobody was present. So please change your website. Yeah. You could say the town planner or building commission, right. or whatever. You know. Exactly. They were all there, and yes, they had the building inspector. So they just may have been incorrect in there. It yeah. makes us look bad, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Perception is everything. Um, is that anything else that, that you want to? No, everything. Yes. I have, I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead, Jean. Well, let's go on. It's, it's probably more about um, on a subject that we're talking about. Mine is. Uh -huh. it's, it is not. Um, what is, and forgive me, just. Um, I've been out of the office for the last couple of days, so I might have missed an email, and I know I missed February 13th meeting because I was out of town. Um, what is going on with the town planner? So, um, <laughs> that was <laughs> we had a little Thank meeting you. in here with um, uh, Robin, Deb Noble, and us. Us and, um, being you and Jean? Me and Jean, okay. and Bill was there. Okay. It's a little uncomfortable, and the next they, I got a call saying we are not going to be accepting the position. Um, so we are. Um, so when I was, so when I you say what you mean, Peter? Yeah, Peter oh, did not. He did not yeah. accept did the position. Did he email you too? No. Oh, so yeah, he called me and said, um, no, you know, I. He truly said, it seems like it's going to be a tough environment, and I have another offer on the table, and I, I just, I can't see myself sure. in that environment. And, you know, it is what it is. 
Um, we did go um, to the planner conference on Saturday, and I, I'm telling you, multiple planners said um, after May 20th, you'll have a line at the door. So um, I'm glad to see, we just need to get to that point, and then we'll be able to um, get have some some great applicants. I mean, local applicants that are local that are in like close towns actually been interested. Four days a week, great salary. Um, just get us there. What is and the significance of May 20th? I know it's town meeting, but what I don't see any town meeting. Town meeting. Okay. Same. That's 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 what they told me, and I'm I'm quoting quoting them on that. So um, we just have to kind of get get through that. And that's in I do. We'll go slow, snail pace, and and get us to get us to there. Um, we have. The we, should should we re-advertise? Should we put something in? Not right now. Yeah, we should just wait. Think we should wait. Just make doesn't make any sense. Just put it. Just because ready to pull her hair out. So <laughs> I did speak to Jessica today, and I oh. told her that today, or Monday or today, I talked yesterday, to one of Yesterday, I think you said you were going to go down. Okay, could have been yesterday too. <laughs> uh, I did, and I informed her that Peter, is, if she was waiting for a letter from Peter, oh, the okay. signed letter from Peter, that not to hold her breath because it wasn't coming. Okay. She says, really? And I said, yes, really. So Jessica is aware of what's happening. I did not tell her to run the ad again. Okay, just hold off. Um, we'll yeah. we'll mm -hmm. get it done. Um, we, you know, we go for the, just the plan of business. You know, we got appointed the council. It was a very, very long meeting. I went to fight for my citizen's petition. and. <laughs> There was a very long conversation on legal counsel. Unexpected to me, I don't know if I would have invited, I would have posted and invited all of you, but um, it got brought up and there was a, it was a mess and some yelling and accusations. Um, and they went to an executive session and the next day I got an email saying, you got your attorney. Nice. So. Um, Nothing was posted? Is that an open meeting violation? Correct, I would say. There was a good 40 minutes of, of you're lying because I have an audio tape going back mm. and forth. It was that. And it wasn't um, televised because I looked for it. No, it wasn't. So it was that. And it wasn't. It, oh, yeah. it will never <laughs> be. <laughs> 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 you were there. So nothing on the agenda. Maybe. I can tell you what, I mean, I. Oh, I've made a public records request for the voice. You'll mm -hmm. never get yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, Perhaps I we should just send the same letter she sent us and send it back to her. <laughs> the same wording, same everything. Just. <laughs> all the same. Oh, what's all the same memo of open meeting yeah. law violation? Just, just Here is it. your advice on open. I'll, go, I will. And by the I way, I sent this to the attorney general. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just send it right back. Just like um, right, well, it was. Yeah, um, we need to get past this. It was yeah. very, yeah. very. It was this crazy. Is, this is, this is just yeah, something we need to thought. put this to bed and, and, and yep. move forward. So, and see. so basically, we're going to tread water until um, okay, mm -hmm. with nothing else changing. Yeah, so I thought Peter was joining, and I'm like, okay, let's figure out the last, the last, sure, the last, last day. day, and so you got, and then you have vacation, so I guess, and it's not even on the agenda, but we'll, uh, as chair, we'll talk about the, it's unknown that. business at this time. Okay, it's unknown business, um, on whether, <laughs> are you sick of us, do you want to, no. <laughs> do you, do you want to stay around for a while, or what do you, what do you think, because I was saying, if you, if you don't, we went to a decision writing class, all of us, and we're going to be really good at it now. Mm -hmm. um, Are you going to do everything else he's been doing for the past? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, I, I mean, all the hours that I put in for VGD are all available now. <laughs> like 10, 12 hours a week. Right. Um, but, so, so we, what's the pleasure of the board? Right? Would you like what do we, what do we want to do? On, or would you like um, to Okay, Bill has some, you're going to be going for some vacation. Yes. Right? In like I'm going on vacation from, I think, the 4th of April to about the 15th or so. Okay, so we're having a meeting on the 3rd. Yes. Correct. Okay. And then Jane will be back. Jane will be back on the 1st, I believe, on the Monday. Um, okay, we got to... See if she posted that meeting for the third, and then we have to change something mm -hmm. if she did. Yeah, I would doubt it. Okay. Because it's always subject to change based on what happens at the previous meeting. Okay. Uh, 
So Bill's not going to be here from the 4th to the 15th. In Poland, right? Is that what you no. said? Croatia. Croatia. Oh, very yeah. cool. Oh, where? Oh. Uh, Dubrovnik. Uh, up to Dubrovnik. Do you? Yeah. And then up to the uh, uh, Umag area. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Today, uh, a tour or the is it homeland? Just, you're doing it yourself. Uh, I'm going with my family. Okay. Yeah. Good. No. Sweet. Have you been to Dubrovnik? No, I never have. Gorgeous. Yeah, great. Getting down to Montenegro too. Uh, uh, we like thought about yeah. maybe taking a day trip over. Mm -hmm. We haven't decided yet. I did conference there about ten years ago. There for about a week. Nice. Wow. Nice <laughs> we went on Friday. Conference was on Sunday. Flew out the following Saturday or something. Wow. Yeah, that was perfect. Not bad. <laughs> nice. So, do we have any meetings while Bill's on vacation? Uh, no. We'll have one on the seventeenth. Perfect. We have one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What I was. And on the seventeenth, we're going to be doing all of those. The warrants. Do we the want warrants? to do one of me on the tenth for some reason? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I think. Oh, you're going to well, be gone. So when's it going to get to the newspapers? Because it has to be advertised in the newspaper. Yeah, I'll get it out either tomorrow or early next week. Okay. Yeah. So that will cover us. Yes. For okay. the th for the third, we'll be. Okay. okay. Well, no, not for the for third. The it will cover us for, for the seventeenth. Yeah. Um, and so we had talked about adding the 24th. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to add the 10th, too? No. No, we don't have one. <laughs> okay, that's because if you can open on the hearing on the 17th, you really don't need to meet on the 10th. That's, no. that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And if we have to, we can continue to that no. additional meeting. To the 24th. And if we don't, right. exactly. And that's still yeah. within the time frame. Yep. And yep. as long as we get everything in the. Yeah. As soon as Jane comes back, she'll be able to take care of the other things. As long as we're covered for the third and we have any public, anything that we need to put in the newspaper, any advertisement. And we are meeting on the 27th with FinCom. Right. Uh, uh, so that, that, but that's yeah. early, right? Or what, what? Six, isn't it six o'clock? Yeah, I thought it was yeah. early. I thought it was early, so we could meet before here. I believe you got the email from Donna about that. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't recall the time exactly. Yeah, I think so you're are right. we meeting on the 27th as us or just with FinCom? Both. No. So no. Just spin cut. Spin cut. So March twenty seventh. And that's for your budget. Right. Okay. That's okay. Six p.m. And then again on the third. Third. Mm -hmm. Seventeenth and twenty fourth. Thank so you. Twenty fourth. Twenty fourth, if needed, we can if probably make that right. decision. Maybe we won't. Maybe this will be smooth and we won't. Right. Well, I'm, I'm the, you don't know what else is going to end up on the desk between now and then too. So. Good night. Thanks. Night night. All right. Gene, do you want to just talk about our meeting today? Yeah, with, uh, we didn't CMFC. figure out, did we come up with a date? Four. For how long you want to stay? Yeah. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so know, I, I can stay on if you... Uh, well, you won't be here from the 4th till the 15th. And we're having the meeting on the 17th. You're it's only and we don't and then we only need to get through May, right? Which I don't care about. Okay. But then if we do bring on a new planner, I'm just again open Jane, discussion. Jane trained Bill and Jane can train a new planner. <laughs> not worried about that. <laughs> I mean, for the for a planner, right. we're gonna get an experienced planner. Yeah. We already have some names out there. I already have some names. I was very interested. Um. That's the best way if you can recruit somebody. Yep. And I, you know. I so. Yeah. The only thing we didn't do was print up applications and have them on each desk of each session. We didn't do that, okay. but only okay. because I didn't think about it in time. Right. <laughs> They're online. They're okay. <laughs> online. Um, and when are our, when are, when are, oh my gosh, are we meeting in May? Is it the 8th? First would be the 1st, May 1st. Mm -hmm. May 8th. Yeah, and May then the 1st 15th. and May 15th. And then town meeting the 20th. Correct. Right. Do you want to just do May 3rd? May 1st? May 3rd? Is that well, the f we'll have a meeting on May 1st. Right. Would you like to continue to work until May, May 3rd? 3rd? Sure. Is that no. okay? That's fine. That meets the 14 days. Right. <laughs> Not May 15th <laughs> to bring us to our, to our last one? May 15th. May 15th May fifteenth. May fifteenth is our last meeting. We'll make sure that's meeting. a really slow, a really, a really dead meeting. <laughs> we'll, we'll plan accordingly. Nothing is getting scheduled. I, 
Okay. No public hearings. <laughs> Nothing. No. No Every, public. Everything hearings. that comes in is going is by appointment only, and it's it's that's going to be that we need to we'll we'll talk about more of that in policy. But there's no walking in plans and surprise start dates. There's going to be you we accept plans at meetings, walk in and make an appointment, and we need to be much more strict about our timelines and what going forward. And that was one thing I just want to touch on when we were at the planners thing. I was under the impression, or I got the impression, that everything goes through the town clerk first. Yep. That's state law. But plans usually, okay, maybe, maybe I'm missing well, a I piece. Just, I just, for how, when Alan ran the office, mm -hmm. that's how we wanted it. And that's Going why it's through always, there? No, coming, coming through in here. here and first. Then you file over there, right? Then you file it with the clerk, and then, because by law, mm -hmm. you're supposed, to, as the applicant, the go to the stamp. clerk. That's right. a time stamp for submittal. But all Alan always had his policy that it comes here. The lawyer he was, said the lawyer said that the time stamp doesn't start until it goes in there. So if Evelyn comes in here and brings it on the fifteenth and something happens and you don't drop it off until the fall it says it's, it's Thursday and you don't drop it off till the following Monday. Monday. The the applicant is gonna be all ticked off because of the time. So well, on the flip side, I'll tell you why Alan used to do that. Because Alan was trying to help the people who were bringing in plans right. to make them right. nice. He wanted to make them perfect, if you will. He wanted to make sure they um, he wanted to look at them, make look sure, at them, yeah. give them but a advice. So what he would do. That's supposed to happen after. And I so agree they with can, that. They can but submit I, a piece of paper. But I'd also like to start. I'm not agreeing with that. I'm just saying why. Any of these big yeah. plans that are coming in, um, and and I talked with. When we were we had we we're all together in a room with, with Devin and uh, and Robin too, talked about like some changes and I think when anything like certainly like for example if DDG would have come in we should have had you know Kurt commit you know you know Todd um, Jim everybody on at this table when the when the plan was brought in so not even I'm sorry before the plan I had this big idea well, that happened. Right, we just, it was all just done in secret. But I mean, openly in 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 a room with an appointment, and have everybody on the table like Conover. You know, everybody mm. came and and Kurt might say, "Well, you're going to have to do this," and Al, you know, the planner might say, "You're going to have to do this, but you're going to have to do that first. But that's what EDC was designed for. EDC was designed that you get on the EDC agenda. They'll tell you who you're going to need there. So Kurt Messis was going to be there. Alan was going to be there. Your point exactly. Yeah. And then EDC, EDC says, and so EDC says, okay, this is what we think. And Alan would attend every EDC meeting, and he'd say, okay, well, your sight lines aren't this and this and this and this and that and this and that. They'd go back to the drawing board, revamp it a little bit, and then file. Okay. So because the, the EDC They'd have was an advisory board exactly. Well, over. after after May twentieth, will everybody will get along a little better, and so we'll be able to have figure out what's going to work best. And because EDC does meet in the middle of the day, and maybe that's good for developers, or maybe it and, and that's exactly why they started doing that because EDC used to meet um, during the day so that the working people that are bringing these plans in can then bring them in. And the idea being that it was supposed to be during but all the work all time. the department heads work during the day, anyways. Well, right. So they all could so e everybody could come in here and talk and do the round table with it. That's right. And really, how many people really show up to the EDC meeting? They don't anymore because the EDC right. used to, and now that Devin's not here, I don't mind saying this, and I hope this doesn't go in notes, but the EDC used to mean something. It used to be the first, it used to be the foyer to the planning board. So you'd come in, you'd present your plan, and it, it was the meat and potatoes, and then it would go to the, we had no authority except to direct, and then it would go to the planning board who could make all the rules and regulations. What ended up happening is because a year went by with no EDC, and then what put, got put on, it, it just kind of fell apart. Um, and then that process stopped, so people weren't bringing in plans other than very preliminary, like the mushroom mm -hmm. guy came before us yep. on a super preliminary plan, but it wasn't the same as it used to be. It wasn't a plan like this where maybe right. something was wrong, and they're saying, okay, well, you know what, I would do this, this, and this. Okay, so now you're not wasting your own time. Right. Or, you know, I want, I had this big idea, and you say, you want to do it here? No. Exactly. You can go over to this That's area exactly and do correct. it. That kind of stuff. We should put this on an agenda to talk about. Right. Just, just the a list of rules of right. what and I, should and be I, and again, by and by. Um, the, and, and I've been talking a lot about Karen, to Karen Spielack about this. And I said there should be a major overhaul in all of our policies and procedures. Not just, it doesn't just policy, procedures mm -hmm. in this building to make us more user friendly. With transparency, with, with being friendly to developers, and all that will happen in, in we, we said over the summer, really start vamping down on how all the boys can work together. You want a direct quote? 12 years ago, Alan came before 
the EDC and said at that exact thing, I basically want a map of the town hall. If you're going to do this, who, who do you need to see? What do you need to do? And Robin said, that's what I'm here for. It might not have been 12 years, but it was a number of years ago. That's my job. That's what I'm here for. If they come to me, I will direct them. And so that's, men. Well, and I'm not saying that that was the wrong thing to say at the time, but that was Alan's big point is okay. that he wanted a map, a map. He wanted people to know. That's why he liked the, um, the guidebooks, if you will, the um, permitting books. But the problem is lay people don't know how to read those because they read like the permitting books. I mean, if you're just a guy, well, they read into it what they want. That's correct. It, correct. And so they don't know what they think the planning board will approve at that time. And that's where the EDC used to come in and say, well, we pretty much know where the planning board is going to go based on previous projects. Based on how this is worded, we think that you probably won't be able to allow to do that there. You can try, but we don't think it'll win. And so just, but again, it fell apart when... But we will, I mean, we'll get to the point where we... we Which I think is wonderful, that. yes. I think that's awesome. Um, that and there'll be enough great. people that are, who are heading that up can kind of follow all that process no. out. And it'll, it'll, it'll wipe out a lot of time we spend. Just yes, right, absolutely. Back and, forth on and I only bring that up to completely agree with where you want to go because I think it's a great direction and it's too bad it wasn't done back when it was proposed originally for whatever reason, but we're here now and I think it's fantastic. There are other towns that, that do that and it and it works and it works very well that they already have templates and stuff out there. So right. we'll be able to, you know, not recreate the wheel and, mm -hmm. and, and, and make it make us just more friendly sure. to developers. Just stuff. to follow up on that. Okay. Uh, I had a meeting today with Bill, Kurt and Ron Barron mm -hmm. from C M R P C we Thank submitted you. to that DLTA request for the zoning diagnostic, which fits into exactly what we're saying here. Um, and Ron is going to, he has our master plan, he has the zonings, he's going to try to get it together. Nice. The problems are the use tables don't match. Mm -hmm. um, and because like 75% of Charlton is agriculture and agriculture does today is not what it was <laughs> right. 30 no. years ago. We grow mm -hmm. houses. Yeah, right. we do. Um, and like that. that needs to be addressed. Yes. And if it's going to be residential, it's going to be residential. And it's not agricultural. And that's a good point. If it mm -hmm. means that we came to the conclusion there are no working farms in Charlton. Nope. Mm -hmm. There I'm are no say, working no, farms. No. No. There's Maze, um, there's some fields. people that hay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's gentlemen's some, farms, but no some hay where they make their correct. living. But nothing with animals. That's correct. Because I believe the um, definition of a working Ooh. farm is if they have to make their the bulk of their income off the workings of the farm. Right. Yeah. That's um, and so do some of the horse farms fall underneath that? Actually, the, then there is one. There's a couple there's across a couple town horse. that are, um, they do, um, oh, therapy horses. Yeah. And so I think there's three of those but here in town. I don't even think that's a bulk That's of, not a farm. I don't think that's even a bulk of their, a bulk that's of their farm? salary. I, I can tell you that there's no, one I wouldn't call it a farm either. either. So we change A to the R60, yeah. and we say that. Uh, yeah, that's that's simple. That, or you could have R1, have R2, like Kurt said. Oh, there you go. Different Perfect. degrees of Perfect. residential. Everything I'm not being argumentative at everything all. Everything that's allowed in A now will be allowed in R60. It's, we're just changing it. Yeah, the name. Really? Just large, large large residential. Egg. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. That's pretty much what Kurt said. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. R1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s, whatever. Um, the other thing, the bylaw and then the master plan. We'll get done, but we, I think we all agreed to do bylaws your bylaws first. first. Yes, Jack's gonna get it, yeah. Um, and the definitions are, need to be looked at. When you go in the front and you have all your definitions, that needs to be tweaked a little bit because, again, things have changed. Yes. Um, we have things now we didn't have. We have cell towers, we have solar, we have pot mm -hmm. farms, and yep. that was not part of it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to work with public meetings as of the planning board, but we are going to bring in, um, would like to have joint meetings with EDC also nice. to try to rejuvenate yes. EDC a little Perfect. bit. Perfect. And, um, but the first uh, meeting, and we had talked about that was going to be on the 17th. Right. That was the other thing. But we could push that back. I think you might want to if you're going to okay. do the zoning bylaw yeah. hearing. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, uh, we were later. going to have a kickoff meeting with Ron and to the whole board to see oh, what he'd have. Okay. So push that back to May 1st then? Sure. Does that, yeah, does that make sense? That that's fine. And then we will bring in EDC later on on a more routine yeah. basis and maybe then just get it to the point we can go back to the other way where they come to EDC first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Because there's no right or wrong answer. It's just a matter of how you want to do it. Right. Just do business and shop. This is what you do. Yeah. Right. Go. Mm -hmm. And the timeline for that. that Jean be the point person for the project since she's the senior. Oh, yeah. She don't yeah. get the oh, I think it's very good. Where was your in favor? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I did that a couple <laughs> of times. I, listen, I got to run over and bring it out. Bring Sergeant it out. of Arms. That's all I know. Drop the hand. Um, the time, um, timeline is we'd like to get this done by the end of the year because oh, that's when their thing is. Uh -huh. But that's just this. This is not our totally bylaw overhaul. Right. This is just oh, their diagnostic. He's just oh, okay. their diagnostic. Yeah, that's, so okay. That's cleaner. Okay. Yes, we. He's <laughs> going to the end out. of the year meeting, July first, because that's the end of the. Right. And then, then we have to do an RFP to actually have somebody come and actually do the zoning, zoning, right? So this is the diagnostic. Or are you talking about the he end of the, the year? End of calendar year. I've been in the calendar year. Right. Right. Yes. That so. But better. that'll give us time to yeah. do an RFP, right. July, in but the beginning of July. To he's just going to point out. He's not going to rewrite everything. He's just going to point out the areas that need to be looked at. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that save us from saying, well, what about this? He's. Right. That's we the reduce the cost of, yes. the, of the whole that's entire right. project too, and that's yep. that's going to be yep. great because we're talking, you know, like a hundred grand. If we can save twenty grand by, right. say, oh, know, like you know, like board, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. That's we're letting that's him do the do it free loans here. Yeah. Good reporting. Yeah, excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Jean. Good night. Thanks, I like that. In all seriousness, I do that's have a bell that we this <laughs> afternoon. I didn't have to remember too much. <laughs> In order to keep um, uh, Butter's uh, comments down, I have a bell that I used at another organization. They no longer use it, and it's just one of those like hotel lobby bells. Do you want me to bring that in so that way if someone gets a little bit talkative, you can say, "Listen, when you're dinged, you're out." Because <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to give, I don't want the residents to get. So having somebody like this gentleman, he, I, I get it. He's passionate. Yeah. He's yeah. passionate. Um, well, he's so different. sometimes, he's sometimes. Passionate. You, you got like uh, you know. Remember when Mrs. Jennings came up? Oh, and oh. Was I gonna shut her down? I couldn't. Even I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't gamble I, I, her either. I, there's certain there's, there's some, certain people some you kind of, just cannot do that. I have to that admit, too. some. I I really give the residents a little too much. I well, know. Like, I know. I just kept going on and on and on and on and on and on. And I'm not blaming you. I just mean I think that going forward if we do get one of these um contro controversial um projects yes, again yes i think i think that for controversial we need to have the timer on the table it's the, the, the timer you learned, any new information is there any new information new information, yeah. 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 New information. and jean's really good at <laughs> <laughs> the only question? thing you, yeah. you can't yeah is there a question in there get to it <laughs> and that's i think that's what we, we're getting in the situation where there's a lot but more you can't comments pick and, and questions in. If so you're going to time one person, you have yeah, to time everybody. Well, and that's, I went to a planning board meeting up in, it was not Holden, and they were brutal. There was like a three minute egg timer and you got done, and the moment, and if you went over, they're like, I'm sorry, sir, but we said you were done. On to the next one. On to the next one. I'm like, you people are, and they were mean. That's Holden. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. We, we live in a very small town, and you, that person you're shutting down is probably someone who lives down your street or goes Could to your be. church to a place volatile. You'll see him again. So, yeah. you got, I mean, I'm Why saying. Why off the road the next yeah. time? Yeah. Oh, that rocks. That's if right. They're, if they're going on to five or six, or if they're repeating something, that's it. I, I get yeah, it. We, yes. we need to, and I think that There's we should. any new inf information. Just this say, is nothing new. This what's is, anybody's yeah. feeling? I felt very badly for that person. Yes. But that's not in our realm, is right. it? The only thing we could potentially do, and I'm, I'm putting this out there as more of a question than a statement, could we say, okay, if you can get coverage for your granddaughter on Wednesdays from like one to four, can we a that's ask a as a big, that's, that's, that's a, a big, big. Ask. that's what I said. I said during the site plan, you could potentially talk to the developer and see Doesn't if they Masonico can. Does the have a daycare? They do. Yeah, Thank they're you. not going to take it. They're, they're, they're not going to take it. The problem, so. I know what he was trying to say. A of normal course. daycare, it's, it's, you know, four or five hundred bucks a week. Uh, an autistic child, a couple of days or a week. It's it's because of the special needs and stuff. Yeah, um, I although I don't know the That's age. That's a good point, though. And I don't know, I don't know any of that kind of stuff. But I mean, Nor do we need maybe, to know. Are they too young for? Are they too young to go to public? Yeah, you know, and, and unfortunately, he's he's not the property owner either. Right. Hmm. That's the other. That's thing. the bigger problem. Hmm. Is so he really he doesn't really have any rights. You hate to say it that way, right. though. It's, it's but I can tell you that if he went mm -hmm. to the United Way and if he did the two one one, because I know the director well, and he explained his situation in depth, they would probably find a spot for that little girl for the small construction phase, mm -hmm. and they could give him severely right. reduced rates. This is could you not ask an the applicant to pay. Yeah, to have the, I mean, the, yeah. 
even, that, know, even that's a that's big opening stretch. That's yeah, I'm not sure you could ask. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if they I mean, offered, that would be a great would, if they came up yeah, and they offered. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But man, Dave, can you imagine the precedent you'd be opening up? Yeah. So yes. for every a butter that has an issue, I mean, I mean yeah. so you they have could, someone that sleeps during the daytime because they work third shift right, the nurse. There you go. And now all of a sudden you have to put them up in a hotel room for six months. No, no, no. I didn't sleep for a couple of months when they were doing the bridge over in Stafford Street over the pike. They were right. doing that. Oh. Uh, midnight till yeah, 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 six a.m. Yeah. When we were That's breaking like the, the back leg, of your when, house? We, yeah. when we were yeah, building our house, down, down bit, for two whole weeks we had an excavator. Great, we couldn't yeah. last because we we're on the reservoir. Flat, bang! I lived three miles away in my other house, and I could hear it <laughs> three miles away. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, my the contractors are there, <laughs> breaking the but the it's, huge leg. Okay. Right. right. It's exactly. not a permanent so we might thing. We be able to ask them to use certain construction techniques that would be less disruptive. Even if they cost more. I think it, me, if like I was a contractor, yeah, yeah, exactly. If I was a contractor, I, I'd have a problem with that. I have. I think you'd have better luck contacting the United Way, seeing for temporary placements, or just finding a place to go for those two days. Don't they have other family members? It, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mean, but I can't. Yeah. Well, no, they the, go to the, the Sun House organization the other days. is very philanthropic. The Maybe they'll, have, you know, yeah, see the light and say, exactly. the that's exactly what I was Let's, thinking. You have other residents to go to. Have yes. Have grandma take the kids somewhere else. Right. Make a motion, we adjourn. Second. In favor? Aye. 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 In favor? Aye.